Hi guys, can you hear me? Let's see if I can get this kind of straightened out here. <clears throat> Hi Julie. <laughs> Happy marvelous Monday to you too. Let me get my voice going here. Hope everybody's doing well. Had a good weekend. Uh, let's see. Ashley, Darla, Sarah. Uh, anybody else coming in? Let me do a test here. So, yeah. Nancy. Hi, Tina. Good morning. Good morning. Let's see, Linda, Molly. So yeah, busy morning here trying to get things set up. And let me just move that over there. I, can, I got both of my wood things here, my faux wood panel things here. So, mm -hmm. hi, Pacola. Good morning. How you doing? How's your weekend? Hi, Janet. <laughs> uh, oh, Starla, thank you so much for the super sticker. Thank you so much. Let me write you down, girl, girl. <laughs> thank you, Starla. Uh, <clears throat> let me get my voice going here. Thank you so much for the super sticker. Thank you. I wrote you down. So, um, yeah, we'll be doing a new a new print for the first week of June. I always have to think ahead. <laughs> Thank you so much, Starla. Hi, Maseki. Um, Jennifer. So hi to Darla. <clears throat> yeah. Thank you. Yeah. I, I think I have Starla's. I'm pretty sure I have Starla's address, but Pacola always puts that there because if you guys move or change your address or anything, I can't send you out a print if I don't have your current address. Let's see, who else? Um, Daniela. Uh, let's see, Bethany. I'm probably missing some people coming in. Um, <clears throat> cats here, I got the window open. So the cat's sitting in the window listening to the birds. Uh, Just catching up on everybody's here. Okay, so what we're going to do today. Hi, Jessica. Get my, pin my hair up out of my eyes. I need to trim my bangs. Uh, let's see. So I have a new Daphne's diary. I just put, uh, <laughs> I put little Bob Ross here. So, um, I got the new Daphne's Diary. Oh, this is crooked. No wonder I'm, it's all, let's see. Let's move this over here. Let's straighten this out. Let's straighten that out. My camera was hanging like wonky. Um, let's see. So, I got the new Daphne's Diary. thought we'd look through that. I did get, uh, Donna sent me this abandoned uh, and Lost Places color book. It's like a grayscale color book of Lost Places. These are fun to do. Uh, of course, you know, the, the um, alcohol markers will go right through. So you got to put something behind it. I just tear them out when I do something like this and color that with alcohol markers. I want to go over our Society of Idea Collectors, uh, people that uh, contributed to the ideas over the weekend. Remember, Wednesday is when I give new homework uh, for the following Monday. So I, and I'm going to have to talk about this a little bit. Um, I saw a couple people that I just happened to find or, or um, hashtag me personally, Inky Well, on, uh, let me put that in here. This is my, wait a minute, let me get over here. My IG is Inky Well with an I. There we go. That's my uh, Instagram. 
but we're, we're going to have to get in the habit of putting hashtag society of idea collectors because I'm not seeing everybody. I, I, I it just happened to come across one or somebody puts uh, DD in there. Here's my homework DD. And I'm not going to see that on Instagram. Um, I, you know, I, I've got, uh, let me see over here. I don't even know how many. Um, how many people do I follow? <laughs> I follow 3000 people and I have over 6,000 followers. So if you're not hashtagging, uh, inky well or society of idea collectors, all one word, I'm probably not going to see your post. Just saying, <laughs> I'm probably not going to see it. <laughs> so you have to either hashtag inky well or you have to put hashtag society of idea collectors. And then, of course, there are some people that did do that. And I do have their their um, their post. So just saying. Um, Ashley, did you hashtag it? I'm just going to call you out, girl. <laughs> then you went on fire. You didn't post it. Oh, my gosh. You did not post it. You lit it on fire. What the heck? Hedgewick, Mitts. Um, who else am I missing? <laughs> you did. You lit it on fire. Oh my gosh. Oh, you're gonna be sorry later. Because if you, even if you don't like something, if you keep it in your notebook, you know, you don't have to keep everything you hate. I don't mean that. <laughs> But if you keep some of the stuff that you really don't like, um, then as you grow, you're going to see your growth later on, you know. Uh, let's see. Sarah Moonlit Crafter posted hers yesterday. Okay. Did you hashtag it? I'm going to go through everything that's hashtag Society of Idea Collectors or anything that's hashtag Inkywell. Either one of those. I'm going to look for those in a minute so I can, you know, when we get started here, when more people come in so we can uh, go show them. Oh, it's posted, Ashley said. Okay. Let me go over here and look. Let me go over here and look. <clears throat> All right. Ashley. Ashley. Let's see which Ashley are you? Where are you, Ashley? What's your uh, what's your IG name again? <clears throat> Everybody has different names at different places. I save part of it in my junk journal. Okay, let me let me look under um, Society of Idea Collectors recent. So let's see. There's Jessica. I see a whole bunch of different ones. I don't see yours, Ashley. See Devin. Okay, there's Moonlight, Moonlit Sarah. Um, there's Janet's. Um, I see a whole bunch, and I'm gonna go. Oh, here, here we go. Okay, Ashley, I think I found it. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so there's Ashley's. So let's see what she said. Um. I was completely inspired by a quote from my all-time favorite book, At the End, Inspiration Strikes. I'm saving scraps for my junk journal. All right, so her quote is from Ray Bradbury, which I love, and from Fahrenheit 451. It doesn't matter what you do. As long as you change something from the way it was before, you touched it into something that's like you after you take your hand away. Oh, my gosh, that's awesome. So I just now saw it. Let me let me like it. Let me give you a let me give you a clap clap clap. <laughs> That's awesome, Ashley. Okay, so look, guys, there she is. She has um she has the quote in there. She has her hand printed. That's awesome. That is very good. See, I mean, I love it when y'all do stuff. I'm going to show all the ones that I have here in just a, in a little bit. So good job, Ashley. <laughs> Hi, Katrina. <laughs> That's That was awesome. 
Oh, sw oh, oh, swipe right. Okay, I didn't see a little thing there. So, oh, oh, wait a minute. I think she actually did burn it. Wait a minute. Let's she did. It's a little video. I can't hear it. Is there any sound to it? I'm waiting for something to happen. Is something going to happen, Ashley? <laughs> I hear you breathing. Oh, there it goes. Oh, my gosh. Look. Oh, my gosh. Ashley. Oh, my gosh. I'm glad you told me to swipe. Oh, my gosh. Because there's usually a little thing up here that says it's continued with a video or something or another picture and it didn't have it there oh my gosh we'll show it again in a minute that's awesome i ain't gonna go whoa <laughs> that's awesome oh my gosh that is really cool okay we're gonna show it again Hi, Kalora. Happy, happy Monday morning to you. Did y'all see that? Did y'all see it? <laughs> I'm going to, I'll show it again. So, and I'll go through the Society Idea Collectors uh, post. So if y'all weren't here last week, Wednesday, and it, it just, you know, you can always go back and add to your uh, collection of ideas anytime. I think we're up to 90 eight or something like that in post for society of idea collector post um and we just started doing homework that we're going to go into week three on wednesday so the first week was getting your book together and making all your lists uh last week was your uh make a bunch of quotes you know five to ten you can make as many as you want but i select i suggested five to ten quotes pick out one of your favorite quotes and make an art piece out of it um <laughs> and uh <laughs> you're so funny now i get it i thought you just didn't like it and you burned it oh my gosh that was awesome that was awesome, Ashley. We'll show it again. And uh, so last Wednesday's homework was for you to uh, do a quote and make some kind of art piece. It could be a photo. It could be a photograph. It could be a sketch, a doodle. A, a Janet did a zine, uh, which I'm hoping she's going to show on her show today at 1 Eastern. Um, there's Janet right there. So if you follow Janet, she streams at 1 Eastern, uh, about an hour after. I try to get out, off here by 12 Eastern, and uh, Janet comes on at 1. So uh, hopefully she'll show her zine today. Uh, hi, Rebecca. Let's see. Linda. Uh, who else? It's so funny. Linda McAllister. Um that's the name what McAllister was the name i don't know if y'all remember i had it recorded so it came up in my my uh, feed again <laughs> on on my uh, tv how many of y'all used to did y'all used to watch frazier back in the day frazier and uh oh you're in theater have to be dramatic <laughs> uh, well it was dramatic ashley it's awesome i'm gonna show it again um, and Janet says she will show her zine on her show. So anyway, McAllister, have you, did any of y'all ever watch, and this has nothing to do with Linda McAllister who's here. It's just that her name reminded me of it. And I watched it over the weekend. The, the, um, ham radio episode where Frazier did a radio show, like in the old, um, the old, uh, mysteries you know, when they would read, you know, when they would do a play on radio and they describe it and they'd have the sound effects. And all that. How many of y'all have seen that? <laughs> have y'all seen that? Well, anyway, one of the characters in that radio show that they did was the McAllister sister. <laughs> so anyway, when I see that name, it just brought that back to my memory, uh, back to my mind. It was so funny. I love that ham radio episode. If y'all ever get a chance to see it, it is hilarious. So, um, yeah, let's see. 
Uh, Rain Robin, my sad is Sarah. The Frasier she's in homework was about. <laughs> I, I, it just that one came back up in my, um, I think recordings or something, but anyway, you don't know Frasier? Oh my gosh, Frasier. Okay, wait, let me see, let me see what I can do now because I only can show like 10 seconds of it, but let me go over here to. Uh, no, I'll go over to YouTube. Oh, that's not it. Let's go here to YouTube on my phone. Ham Radio Frasier. You can probably see probably the whole episode. <laughs> Hello there, it's your brother. How's he enjoying the prospect of playing six parts? Actually, I don't know about it yet. Did he never would have agreed? Frasier. Okay, so what you got to do is go over to Frasier Clips Ham Radio, and they have, and then the whole episode might be over there somewhere. Here's another one. Oh, wait, let's get past the commercials here. Uh. I was more baffled than ever, so I played a hunch. Hunts. May I see your fingernails? Why? They seem a bit ragged for a butler. <laughs> so, no, anyway, go over there and watch it. It's like that one. Yeah, they got a bunch of clips over there. <laughs> so go watch Frasier Ham Radio. So anyway, oh, sorry, just a little uh, rabbit trail there. <laughs> Uh well welcome back Rebecca glad you're feeling better let's see Cheryl um Jersey Jersey Laura who else um I'm trying to see Scooby okay so anyway off of that so <laughs> I can't I gotta show this again oh that was so that was so good Ashley. Let's go back over to my Instagram. Okay, so again, here is Ashley's piece of art. And she wrote her, <clears throat> her quote. Let's see. Her quote was, it doesn't matter what you do as long as you change something from the way it was before you touched it into something that's like you after you take your hands away. Rad Bear, Rad, Ray Bradbury from Fahrenheit 451. If y'all have not read Fahrenheit 451, you need to read it. Just saying. So she here's her art piece. So here you can see there's the quote at the top and the bottom. And then it doesn't say to slide. Most of the time, IG has a little thing up here to show you that there's more to it. So here is her. So I'm just going to let me turn the volume back up. So if y'all don't know what Fahrenheit 451 is, that is the temperature at which books burn. And it just, it talks about, you know, really it's a whole thing on, on the, you know, freedom of speech, freedom of, you know, you know, anti-book burning and stuff like that. So if you uh, have not read Fahrenheit 451, yeah. So I don't know that they make any, make anybody read it anymore, Jersey. <laughs> Just saying, I'm not going to get into that, but yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it was it was required reading for us too, Jane. And good morning, Jane. <clears throat> good morning. Hi, Diana. Um, yeah, and the other one um, that you need to read is uh, what was it, Janet? We just read. We re Jane and I reread it. Um, why can't I think of it? Uh, Jana will help me think of it in a second. Now I've got Fahrenheit 451 stuck in my head. Um, we just reread it anyway. I can't think of the name of it right now. 1984. Thank you, Janet. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, 1984 is another one that is very um good to read now. <laughs> Yeah, so read 1984 and Fahrenheit 451. Um, let's see, what else? Who else? Miss Nobody Owens, welcome. 
Uh, let's see. I read that book every year on Band Book Week. <laughs> yeah, there you go, Miss Nobody. Yeah. So just uh, books are, you, you may not realize it. I'm not going to get into it here because we don't do politics and all that here. But um, there are, there's banned books on Amazon. Just saying. <laughs> I mean, everything from Dr. Seuss to, yeah. So just uh, FYI, you need to read 1984 and Fahrenheit 451. Okay. So let me go back here. I guess we could go ahead and get started showing some of the, okay. So Jessica creating. <clears throat> did this. I'm going to try to show it. It was a lot. I've just finished the new challenge. Okay. So let's see if there's, oh, she has a quote up here in the corner. It's kind of hard to read. Being creative means you're a little weird. You are a weird little beast because everything seems so blocky and I can't hardly really read it for some strange reason. It's real light on here. It's real light. So this one was Jessica's. And this was hers. She said she had a lot of fun. <laughs> so cute. I love that. I, I just love everybody's creativity. People that say they're not creative. Um, here is Cal, Kaylin. Kaylin. Okay, so she says, I release all negative energy. And she did this collage here. And that's Kaylin. I don't know who that is here. She has a, a, probably a different name here. Um, here's Linda Patrick. She said, let your dreams blossom. Garden collage. And here's Let Your Dreams Blossom. So she, I don't know if y'all can see these very well. You, you really need to go, go over to the Society of Idea Collectors. All one word. All one word. <clears throat> okay, so the next one. This is Jane Litterick, who I think Jane is here. And she did from, oh, this is from week one. Okay, so she did this from week one from, all right, this is the, all right, no, yeah, no, it's really actually, it's week two, I think, Jane, but yeah, but it's the quote week, the quote week, yeah, the list was lit one. Okay, so she did this quote from Leonardo, the smallest feline is a masterpiece. That's so clever, Jane, look, she made the different, like, there's the gothic, <laughs> American Gothic. There's the Mona Lisa. Look, she put them in. She put them in. The cats in the old paintings. Oh my gosh, Jane, that is awesome. <laughs> you guys are so fun. All right, so here's Moonlit Crafter Sarah, and she did. Sometimes you will never know the value of. A moment until it becomes a memory dr. Seuss so there she did this here I'm trying to zoom in for you here so she did this little collage and then like regretting hang on guys regretting like if you don't if you uh, becomes a memory so that one right there that's moonlit cra crafter Sarah <clears throat> Y'all just need to go over to hashtag Society of Idea Collectors if you want to see them all and put in recent. Did I bump my camera as I oh, move this? Um, put in at the top, you can pick top or recent and pick recent so you can get all the new ones. <clears throat> okay, so let's see. Um, Flow Magazine stopped in the States, I think, Rebecca. I don't think they're doing Flow Magazine in the States, unless you subscribe to it. Um, I got an idea and ran with it. Well, you did. <laughs> uh, okay, so let's see. Here's Devin Rex for art. And her quote, Embrace Change. Dedicated to my mom and inspired by, she put Inky Well. Society Idea Collector. So here we go. Embrace change. 
I'm trying to pinch and drag so you can get some close-ups there. So let's see. Then we got Janet who's going to show her zine on her show. <laughs> She did another little zine, the quotable quarterly. This is her quotable quarterly. I haven't seen you since <laughs> since that time. I hoped I'd never see you again. <laughs> ah, Janet. Janet is so funny. So this is the quotable quarterly. It's gonna be a little, it's gonna be a little zine, right? It's gonna be like a little flip book. May 2021. Price is priceless. <laughs> So she made a little zine out of it. And she's going to show the whole thing. She's going to show the whole thing on her show. Then we have Tara ZA99. So I'm not sure who that is here. Uh, Tara ZA99. And her quote is too alien for Earth, too human for outer space. So here's her quote right here. <laughs> I love that. Look. <laughs> and there it is, Tara. <laughs> I never was laughing. Uh, so that's Tara Z A, or it could be Tara Za 99. T A R A Z A 99. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> I know, isn't it funny? I love it too. Okay, let's see. The Maseki, she did a, it looks like a photograph or a collage, one or the other. And she did a quote from Buddha. If we could see the miracle of a single flower clearly, our whole life would change. So here is, there is a Maseki in the Netherlands. And she did this flower. Um, photograph or collage and uh, that's her quote I love them all y'all y'all did so good it's a photo okay so there's Maseki she did a photo is this from your one of your photos Maseki in the Netherlands Netherlands have beautiful fl flowers uh, a special inside the balcony. Mrs. Chrysanthemum has in oh I guess she it's hers it's from her inside the balcony a new Mrs. Chrysanthemum has entered my balcony family, making me happy, making Mr. Cool happy, captured to be drawn or painted. Each of my balcony photos definitely changed my life. That's what she, that's what she wrote there. So there's Maseki. It's your balcony pictures. Okay. <laughs> and y'all make sure and follow each other on Instagram. Follow each other on Instagram, even if you don't participate in the challenges. You know, go follow each other. Here's Kalora Becky. She's C-O-E-L-U-R-A-1. And she says, let's see. Let me see if I can read her quote up here. Behind every great man is a woman rolling her eyes. Jim Carrey. So, <laughs> <laughs> good one, good one, Kalora. <laughs> so y'all are so y'all are so fun. You're so fun, guys. Just saying. Y'all also make sure to go over to hashtag Society of Idea Collectors, all one word. <laughs> oh my gosh, too good. Uh, let's see. I think she did a close. She did a couple of close ups here. So. Let's see, did she do an eye roll on there? <laughs> I know, everyone's so creative. Okay, then we showed Ashley's. I'll show Ashley's again. Okay, now here, I see the numbers come up here. Well, it was there. What happened? It went away. It had one of three. So there's the after effect. Let me show y'all again. Here's Ashley. So she um she did the Ray Bradbury quote and then she put it, she said it actually set it on fire. Um 
Did you see her eyes rolling on the ground? Oh, no, I did not. I'll go back. I didn't see that. All right, so here's Ashley. She sent her Ray Bradbury quote um, from Fahrenheit 451. Look, she set it on fire. And then over here is the aftermath. Here's the aftermath of it. And underneath right here, I don't know if you can see, she's got like a space thing underneath. Can y'all see that? Isn't that cool? Um, so that's good job, Ashley. All right, let me go here. Oh, look, there they are. <laughs> I didn't see that, Galora. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh, Becky. That is hilarious. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> All right, let's go back. Wait, here's the whole here's the whole picture. There's Becky's whole picture right there. And then she zoomed in. I did not see. It. Well, let's see. Where'd it go? Where'd it go here? Sorry, my family's texting each other. Okay, so there, look. <laughs> ah, good one. So the quote was a Jim Carrey quote. Um, that says behind every great man is a woman rolling her eyes. <laughs> oh, oh, Jane. <laughs> okay, well, let's keep going here. All right, what else do we have? Okay, then I have here Mitzi posted. I think this was just showing her Society of Idea Collector notebook. So she here's her book. I think she did a spiral bound and she covered it and put um side of idea collectors oh no this is kimberly why is mitzi putting kimberly's maybe she's just um i don't know maybe she i'm not sure why she did that i think that's kimberly's that was kimberly 557 then here's moonlit crafter um this was her book from last week where she got started on her book so I'm just kind of going through all of the Society of Idea Collectors. Here's her list she started and the assignments. So y'all just need to go over to hashtag Society of Idea Collectors and look at everybody's work. It's so fun. Here's Ashley when she started her list. This was from last week as well. Um, Kalura, Society of Idea Collectors. So just go over there, guys, and look at everybody's, uh, look at everybody's uh, work. So, and put put recent okay go to recent <clears throat> okay so let's see now let me go into hashtag inky well because i think there was a couple under there let's see that weren't under my name it was under inky well so let me look i'm training under kimberly oh Oh, you did one like hers. Okay, Mitz. Oh, gotcha. So you were you were using her Kimberly's idea. Gotcha, Mitz. Okay. <laughs> okay, gotcha. Good. Good for you. Okay, let's see here. Um, this one is Julie. Julie I N W I. What is her thing here? Let me see what it is expression i'm not when was this oh this was back in march okay so maybe that was that was all of them i want to put recent okay all right i got um i got jessica's in there and i showed that jane's okay so y'all did hashtag me and society idea collectors which is good okay so i think i showed them all if i missed any wait i think i took a picture i think somebody emailed me something let me go over here to my emails. Let's see. <clears throat> Rachel, I think. Yeah, Rachel Fleming. Rachel Joan Fleming. Let's see if I can make that bigger. It won't make it bigger. Okay, so she did some, in her idea notebook here, she's doing some sketches. So... <clears throat> and then she did here's my cat <laughs> oh my gosh so she said while the cat's away the squirrels will play so look she did my cat sleeping she wrote Dee Dee's cat janet squirrel 
Okay, so <laughs> there she is. There she is. <laughs> so she did Dee Dee's cat. So while the cat's away, the squirrels will play. Famous Oklahoma squirrel saying, <laughs> Janet, Janet, look, there's <laughs> <laughs> so yeah and you can see she's got it in her she's got it in her uh notebook there she's got it in her binder there <laughs> uh, i know right becky oh my gosh becky i mean uh rachel you need to do a uh, you need to do instagram so everybody can see these you need to do an instagram okay so then i think this is hers too yeah okay so she did this one blood sweat and tears winston churchill never met Dee. Dee. make a list she said <laughs> oh my god <laughs> so that's another rachel one Rachel is a hoot, guys. She is hilarious. She needs to be on Instagram so everybody can laugh at her. I mean, enjoy her different kind of humor. <laughs> uh, I know. <laughs> you guys are awesome. So I did say that. She did email me that. And um, so admits had caught. This is, this is the one that Kimberly had made. There's Kimberly's, and then Mitts made one because I guess uh, Kimberly is Mitts' mentor. <laughs> uh, oh, my goodness. Okay, so let's see. Did I get everything? Did I show everything? If y'all missed um, on my Instagram, I also showed my new garden pictures. I showed my garden. Let me go back over to IG. <clears throat> Let me go to... So I showed my new garden picture. So this is going this is going into week seven. And then you can see them better. And then I did a picture of the sentinels. This these are my garden sentinels. <laughs> There's my garden sentinels. <laughs> oh my goodness. So if you want to see that close up. <laughs> I am back. And Aunt Beck, I started watching one of your videos. I don't know what happened. I started watching one of your videos. I think you were doing one of the projects. You were doing your showing something on your um on your uh, Society of Idea Collectors. Where's Aunt Beck? Where'd she go? Where's she? Go? There she is. So uh follow Aunt Beck and um Aunt Beck Creations. And she, and I don't know how many videos back it was, but it was like maybe it was on Friday. Uh, Thursday or Friday, I can't remember what day it was, but she was showing and talking about her Society of Idea Collector um, notebook and everything. So follow Aunt Beck. Y'all follow each other. It doesn't cost anything to follow people. Let's see. Um, what else? Steve, Darla K sent an email last night with your homework. Okay, let me go see. I don't think I've checked my email this morning. So let me go here. All right, let me look. Hang on. Um. Oh, here it is. Okay, Darla, let's see. All right, let's see. All right, Darla, sitting so late, just finished it. Um, Society of Idea. I'm not able to watch your streams live, but watch. So she's here today. Okay, so she did trust the process. So here, let me click on it, see if I can get it. Let me get the image to come up here. There we go. So she did trust the process. It's awesome. So she did kind of a doodle, almost a Zentangly type thing. Oh, I think that's my mom telling me she's getting on the plane. She, she went up to see her brother up in uh, Washington State. And she's coming back today, getting ready to leave. Hang on. Okay. Love you. <clears throat> so, yeah. So, she went up there for about 
three days to see her brother and, and uh, sister-in-law. So let's see. Kathy Carney texted you and you missed mid-second page. Oh, okay. Let me go back over to IG. Let me go back over to IG. Let's go back over to Society of Idea Collectors. Recent. Okay, let's find it again. Why am I not finding it? Um, why am I not seeing it? Is it was it under Society of Idea Collector? Oh, I'm under Inky Well, that's why. Okay, let me go back under Society. Hang on. Oh, I spelt it all wrong. Hang on. There it is. Okay. All right. Recent. Okay, here we go. Oh, second page. Okay. All right, so here she's got a quote. All animals except man know that the principal business of life is to enjoy it. Awesome, miss. I'm glad you, somebody told me to go look at page two. Most of the time, it's right there. I don't know why it's not all the time. Awesome collage. And that's the quote. All animals except man know that the principal business of life is to enjoy it. Samuel Butler. So there's Mitz underscore Z. Good one, Mitz. <clears throat> There, yeah, thank you, Bacola, <laughs> our little snapdragon. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So I'm trying, guys. I'm trying to do my best to show everybody's because I really want to shout you guys out. <clears throat> Let me sip a juice here. I really want to shout all you guys out. You're welcome, Mitz. So on Instagram, she's Mitz underscore Z. So again, go to Society of Idea Collectors, find the people that are participating, follow them back. And um, yeah. So I've already got the uh, week, week three, which I'll give you that homework on Wednesday because I like to do it on Wednesday. I like to do it on Wednesday so that you have the whole weekend to do the project. Okay. So um, keep working on your list, your quotes, your tabs in your book, anything else that will get your Society of Idea Collector notebook, comp book, three ring binder, whatever it is you're using, keep getting it organized, listing, you know, go back and watch, you know, the last, I, I'm trying to hashtag or put in the description box, Society of Idea Collector, so that you can... Uh, and put it in the put it in the playlist so that you can see the shows that have talk about it. And I'm trying to talk about it at the beginning of the show. If you're new and you're just now, <laughs> if you have not, well, you know, you're sitting here waiting for a collage because that's what I put in the topic. You know, this we do a lot of chatting, <clears throat> we do a lot of sharing, we do a lot of shouting each other out at this show. It's a chat show, so I know people still email me. You didn't start the project till an hour in. I know, I know. Just calm down. It's okay. <laughs> Kathy Carney emailed me. Did I just show that one? Let me see. Oh, that was Darla. Okay, let me see. Let me go back over to my email. Let's see. Go back here. Um, I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing anything from Kathy. Um, I'm not seeing anything from Kathy. So maybe it just hasn't come in yet if she just did it or something. But I'm not seeing anything from Kathy C. Oh, I hate when I accidentally hit the... <clears throat> yeah, there's nothing there yet. So... Um, yeah, so don't email me. <laughs> okay, so I think we kind of talked about got the next project ready for y'all for Wednesday. 
you know, you have plenty of time. I mean, we're only doing one thing a week. You can do whatever you want. You can post like if you, um, if you don't, uh, what do you call it? Finish during that week. You can always continuously add to your own personal, your own personal um, society of idea collector, right? So, okay, so I'm going to show these, and then um, this came from Donna here in Georgia, and she sent me the Abandoned Lost Places Grayscale Coloring Book. I have this on top of, um, well, I'm going to take this off, because, but it's going to glare. So I have, look, here's my tonic, Tim Holtz tonic. I got this a while back for 50% off, so I'm, I decided I'm going to start really using it, but I can't use it on stream, because look, look, I can't use it on stream <laughs> because of the lights. So I've just got it under my work, because I'm working with it, but I'm working on it not on stream because it's got that glare and I have to have lights to stream. So we just, we can't use Timmy's uh, tonic uh, <laughs> on stream because it won't let me. Um, let's see. Okay. So again, let's go ahead and zoom in a little so I can show this. And what it is, it's like the photographs of different abandoned places. And I don't know. Let's see. What does she say here? Where does she get it? Okay, so she says Hester lives in Cape Town, South Africa with her husband. Um, she started adult coloring three years ago. About two years ago, the first grayscale artist asked Hester to color her grayscale designs. Then she started collecting artwork and photographs to make her own grayscale coloring book. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, where she got the pictures, I have no idea. If they're hers or I, I don't know. But they're abandoned places. And they're they're like photographs that have been turned into grayscale. So and it's on Create Space Paper. It's thin, so but that doesn't really matter if you uh, especially like on something like this, I take these out, I color them with alcohol markers, and then I put them in my binder. I have a binder of um, these kind of things, um, color book pages. So um, they're all, they're really fun. I haven't picked a page yet. I'm going to go ahead and flip here. Come the cats. I'm going to flip through the pages. And some of them are upright and some of them are horizontal. So it's kind of hard to, I just want to kind of show them to you here. Looks like most of them are horizontal. So it'll be fun to do this with alcohol markers. I haven't picked a page to do yet because today I'm going to do collage. I have two people's collages uh, that y'all sent me. Remember, uh, a while back I asked y'all to send me collage fodder to make uh, collages for you guys. And I've made, I've made quite a few of them. And I've sent them out to you guys. Once I make the original, goes back to the person that sent me the fodder. The collage fodder it goes back to the um, original person, and then uh, and then we you know sometimes I make a print out of it. Oh look at that one that's really cool. So oh I like this chair too. This will be a good one to do. This chair I might cut that one out as let me reach over here and get my. Um, <clears throat> I think I'll do this one. I won't do it today, probably. I don't know. We'll see how much time we have. <clears throat> I try to be so careful not to cut through too many that I didn't even cut through this one. There we go. And th these are fun. They're thin, but they're great to do with alcohol markers because uh, they'll go right through. So you got to put something behind it. But the alcohol markers look really cool and blend really well on the uh, grayscale pages. So thank you, Donna and Georgia, for sending me this. I say Donna and Georgia because we have a couple of Donnas. So, uh, and I don't know that she gives her last name on camera. So hi, Elaine. Hi, Tommy Joe. Anybody else I miss? Julia. So thank you, Donna, for sending me that. And I think I'll color this one. Maybe I'll color it and send it back to you. We'll see. 
All right, let me put that aside. I'm working also on a couple of a dog commission and a cat commission and I'm um, trying to finish those up. So, but I don't show my commissions on camera until they're finished and approved and sent off and the person that I did them for uh, likes it. <laughs> and when it's, I don't mind showing pets, my pet commissions. Uh, I don't show people commissions on uh, either I don't either post them or show them on my stream unless I have their permission to show because it may be a deceased relative it might be a child and they may not want those shown so if you commission me to do um, a person I'm not going to show it anywhere pets I will show because it's you know it's a pet <laughs> it's not like a person uh, although some people think that their pets are like a person don't email me yes always use a uh, pet uh, protector behind it when you're using alcohol ma markers and I will be coloring more lamp pages more lampshade from the lamp um, don't forget to go over to the lamp um, let me give you the exact name on Instagram to follow for the lamps hang on guys I'm gonna get I'm switching back and forth to everything okay lamp Coloring, oops, coloring, the, the coloring lamp. That's the name, the coloring lamp. I want to, I always want to say coloring lamp, but it's the coloring lamp. <clears throat> and so if you want to see the progress and, you know, uh, it's coming along, you know, it's coming along. It's going to be a Kickstarter. It'll, it'll be out soon, I'm sure. But in the meantime, I, I'm showing it because I like it. <laughs> I like it. Um, hi, Samantha Nelson, Terry Brett. Um, yeah, so if y'all missed anything, uh, talking about the Society of Idea Collectors or any project we've already started or talked about, you'll have to go back and watch. And the same thing while I'm streaming, while I'm streaming, um, I'm on my board here, so it's moving. Uh, if, if you miss the first hour or two hours, we're not going to rehash it during the third hour. You'll have to go back and watch it, guys. There's just no way I can stop what I'm doing and go back and talk about what we talked about two hours ago. We just can't do that, you know. So, uh, and my moms will tell you the same thing. If you're asking questions about something, because I want you to put it in caps if you have a question. But if you're asking about something that we talked about an hour or two previously i can't go back and and re-talk about it again you'll just have to go back yourself and watch it um so let's see all right so daphne's diary uh this is the new one and i like to buy these uh of course it's eye candy but i like to use little things in my personal journals you know uh, little cutouts and things i'm not going to flip through every single page okay this is not going to work this is too slidey so I'm going to have to move my Tim Holtz. Hang on. Let me, I'm going to have to remove my Tim Holtz board from underneath. Put it on top of here and move this off because it's too slidey. Because I'm trying to use it, but I can't use it on camera. I can't use it on camera because it's too um, shiny. <laughs> okay. All right. So we'll go back to this board. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So... There's, uh, they always have, you know, houses, gardens, uh, recipes, little art projects, stickers. Um, here's some cutouts for make your own little paper garden. Here's an article on dolls, uh, stickers, making little diaries. Here's a little post poster here. <clears throat> so it's just they're beautiful books they're beautiful books to look at and read things articles and it's, it is made in the uk so it's a lot of um you know here's some uh recipes and these do punch out you can punch out the recipe cards there's a stencil so if you like paper and and gardening and home decorate it's a little of everything it's a little of everything here's to make a little a lamp 
and you can cut them out here and the papers of course i probably will just use these papers you know as as papers rather than making the lamp but um it's just a beautiful magazine so but it is published in the uk so you're going to pay a little bit more for it because it's imported right so daphne's diary so there's that all right so what else do i have to show oh and i'm going to go ahead uh i'm going to go ahead and do a giveaway for those of y'all that stuck through that all my society idea collector and our homework i love seeing it i hope you guys too do too I hope you'll participate in the Society of Idea Collectors. I hope you will, um, you know, join in, make your book. And even if you don't, though, join in. At least make yourself a book, guys. Make yourself a book of Society of Idea Collectors uh, to, put your, to put your ideas in, to keep your ideas. All right, so this is going to be a special little giveaway. So Faith, faith our Faithful Mess is Faithful, F-U-L-L-M-E-S-S, -S, and she has a she has an Etsy shop, and she has these little dolls that she and Hannah at Easy Art Mix and Style by Faith colored them and made these into stickers. And so you can either fussy cut them out individually, or you can just cut them out in a square, you can just cut them out in a square and use them or fussy cut them out. So she's stylized these. And if you don't follow um, our Faithful Mess, she has a YouTube channel and an Etsy shop. So at least follow our friends, guys. You know, if you don't, can't or don't uh, buy things from their shops, at least follow them and support them. So she sent me a little pack here. She sent me um, two, the two um, sheets here. And then she sent me some collage fodder. And uh, in her um, in this pack where she sent it, and what she did was for the first twenty people that bought things, bought her her dolls, the first twenty people that bought her dolls, she did some packs with the collage fodder and everything in them. So, and she suggested because she does not ship international just fyi she does not ship international it's only us and she has her reasons for that you can ask her about why she doesn't do international i'll just leave it at that um but uh, i can ship them international <laughs> so she sent me two extra packs here so here's what we're gonna do for you international people this morning because uh, depending on where you are, Canada is not that much different in time zone. But, the um, you know, if you're in the UK or, you know, overseas or even Australia, that's like 12 hours. UK is either five or six now, depending on, you know, the daylight savings time. And um, so I'm going to do an international giveaway. Actually, I'm going to do I'm giving away two of them. So if you're international, this is just for you. Okay, this is just for you. Um, <clears throat> so I am going to go to random.org. So wait till I type in go. If y'all have not been to one of my giveaways before, here's how it works. When I type in go, Jane's going, yippee, because she's international. When I type in go, put in one number between 1 and 100. One number only, please. The first person closest without going over, I have to try to make this real clear, first person closest without going over to the random.org, and let me go over there and put that in. Okay, so we got random.org. Here's our little thing. You're going to put in 1 to 100, the first person closest when I generate the number, after everybody puts in the number. It will win but actually this is what we're gonna do it's gonna be the it's gonna be the first two people so this will be and they're and they're they're similar they're I mean they're they both have her stickers in here and then she probably has different collage fodder in there but what she did was when she launched her stickers when she launched these on her Etsy she said the first 20 people that bought her sticker um, girls her dolls um, we're going to get a collage pack thing here. So these are these are uh, limited to just you guys and the first 20 people that bought them, which I think she's already done that. She's already sold those 20. 
Okay. So it's going to be the first two people closest. They're, they're going to be the same stuff. So I'm not going to have to say the first person, second person like that. It's just um, the first two people that are the closest without going over to the random.org. Let me type my hand. <clears throat> Okay, there we go. All right. International only. This is for international because she does not ship international. I thought, it, you know, she thought it would be good to do this, to give the international girls and guys, if there's international guys, a chance to uh, get some of her stuff. Okay. And she's already put stamps on it. She's already got the envelope, the label. She's got it all uh fixed up there she's got her p.o box up here so um hi riri i don't know why you're oops and riri but <laughs> but oops riri okay so everybody get their numbers in i'm going to count down the first two people closest to whatever number comes up on random.org are going to get one of faithful messes i don't want to hold on to these i'm probably going to do a giveaway on wednesday but i didn't want to hold these i want to go ahead and get them out to you know share with you uh faithful messes etsy shop okay 10 9 8 Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, Linda. Well, if you win, we'll just ignore you. Since you're not international, that's okay. Okay, so here we go. The first two people closest to whatever number comes up without going over twenty-five. 25 the first two people closest to 25 without going over so yeah i wanted to i wanted to send these out because i just didn't want to hold them on to them and you know uh hold on to them and uh <laughs> it's all right guys it happens y'all just you know try to follow the rules so uh it's like herding cats <laughs> So you have to be international to win these two. Hi, Kathy Arbor. Uh, let's see. I'm sure I'm probably missing people. Okay, so Nichols had 25. Well, let me let's not write on here. It's not going through. Okay, so Nichols, Nichols had 25. Okay, and then the next person. The next person closest without going over. We need another person. Who else did not go over 25? Oh, uh, sorry, Julia. Oh, that you misunderstood. Okay. And Ashley, Ashley, I don't know which Ashley. Ashley had 23. Ashley, which Ashley? <clears throat> we have We have a few Ashleys. It has to be international, Ashley. Oh, you're welcome, Nichols. Now, y'all send me your current addresses again, please, so I can get these out to you, you know, tomorrow. <clears throat> okay, so here's my email again. Send me your addresses. Just Ashley. Okay, so I don't know which Ashley. So Ashley, Ashley. <laughs> Oh, Anushka? No, Anushka, you're 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 lagging or something. I don't know if you're putting in a number now. Um Okay, so Ashley. Let me see what Ashley. Ashley's not international. Okay, so we're not doing the internet. That's not international. We'll do another one. That's okay. All right, so who was the next one? Somebody said Linda Green at 21. Is that is that true? <laughs> I'm trying to, I'm doing what y'all are saying in chat. Linda Green had 21. Okay. Nichols and, and Linda Green. Why are you sorry, Linda Green? Okay, I'm not sure why Linda Green... Oh, you're not international? Okay. 
It's not wishing, Anushka. You didn't put in a number till after we were done. You have to put it in before we're done. You can't put it in now. <laughs> so just saying. All right. So who, if it's not Linda Green, is is Linda Green? Linda Green, are you international? You're in, Linda Green's international. Linda, she's in the UK, right? Okay, there we go. Linda Green with 21. All right, there we go. So there's our two winners for um, <laughs> for Faithful Messes stickers and collage pack. No. All right, so Linda Green is saying no. <laughs> okay, all right, let's go back again. All right, maybe I need to say the rules about five times before we do a giveaway. I'm sorry, guys. All right, not, Lin not Linda Green. Okay. Uh, I, get, I think I'm thinking Trisha Green. I'm thinking Trisha Green. Okay, so who's next? Um, hi, Faithful Mass. I'm trying to give away your packs here. <laughs> and it's, We're having a hard time giving them away international. Can anybody, can the mods scroll back to see who besides Nichols, who was, uh, who was a, you know, the next person that had under 25 without going over? Rachel Joan Fleming has 17, Jane said. All right, so are we now, we're at Rachel. <laughs> Rachel, did um, you are international, right? <laughs> uh, Julia O had 18. All right, we're going to have to, okay, so Julia O had 18. So now, Julia O, are you international? Okay, Julia, are you? <laughs> we'll figure it out. She had 18. O-M-C. Let's see, I want to get her name right. All right, Julia had Julia had 18. Okay, so Julia send me. Okay, Jane said she was wrong. Julia's not international. Oh my gosh. Then you shouldn't have played, Julia. Oh my gosh. All right, here's what we're gonna do. All right, we got nickels. We're gonna do we're gonna do another giveaway. We're gonna do another draw, another random. Sorry if you're watching the recording and everybody's going, oh my gosh, I can hear it now. All right, I'm gonna write it down. We're gonna do another drawing international only a number between one and 100 please follow the rules oh rachel is okay all right rachel said oh my gosh okay so rachel is international okay so she did get it then all right i know right <laughs> Thank you, Julie. <laughs> okay, so Rachel Joan Fleming, you are international. Send me your address. Send me your. I have. I'm pretty sure I have Nichols. Um, Rachel, send me. Um, send me. Uh, I think I said international at the very beginning, but that's okay. That's okay. All right, so. Rachel, send me your address. Nichols, I have yours. So that you can get some of Faithful Mess's um, uh, sticker dolls and some collage that she sent, okay, in your packs. All right. Oh, okay, people. <laughs> that wore me out. 15 minutes. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm not going to, not going to fuss at y'all too much, but we have to, we're going to have to keep it uh, on task or we're, it's, I can't spend 15 minutes doing a giveaway. Just saying, we're going to have to, you know, if it has to be hurting cats, we're not going to be doing giveaways. All right. So these are, this is my pack from Faithful Mass. So that's going to go over here in my stuff. All right. All right. Ugh. <laughs> I'm exhausted too, Tina. I'm exhausted too, and I still have to do a collage. Okay, baby, you're gonna have to either come say hi or you're gonna have to get down. Let's have a cat moment. Let's have a let's have a Oliver 
an Oliver moment here. <laughs> there you go. There you go, Faithful Mess. Go to Faithful Mess's shop and buy one. <laughs> For sure. For sure. Go buy one uh, Faithful Mess at her Etsy shop. <laughs> Oh my gosh! If, if one of y'all have a direct link to uh, Faithful Mess's Etsy shop, you can put that in. Um, yeah, herding cats. Speaking of, I'm gonna herd this one off my desk. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay, we're getting there, guys. We're getting there. Okay. So we covered our Society of Idea Collector. I showed the new magazine. We did our giveaway. And now, uh, okay, Kalora, see you later. Hi, Terry Brett. Um, uh, so let's see. Pacola. Oh, there we go. Thank you, Pacola. All right. So there's the link to Faithful Mess's direct link to the channel. I mean, to her Etsy right there. Thank you, Pacola. Hi, little Snapdragon. Okay, so I picked out. I think four people here, four or five people to do, uh, and I'm not going to show them because I don't want people to go, oh, well, I don't want my turn because I got one, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven people, seven people's um, collage. No, actually, I think I have eight. I think I have eight. Okay, so let's see. All right, let's pick one. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to put, I don't want y'all to see whose name. All right, we're going to, we're going to do another uh, challenge here. <laughs> I'm going to cover up their names. And what I want y'all to do is tell me, y'all are going to pick one, two, or three. Don't do it yet. Hang on. <laughs> Try to make the show fun. And I think sometimes I just make it more hurting cats. Okay, so we're going to do one, two, and three. And so this is whose collage I'm going to make today. We're either going to make one, two, or three. Okay, so whose who's collage fodder do we use today? <laughs> and don't go just by the picture you see here. There may be better pictures underneath. You don't know. You just don't know. Okay. So, <laughs> who do y'all want? Whose collage do you guys want? All right. We got we got one, two. We got a bunch of twos. We got three threes and one, two, three, four. Okay. It looks like it's kind of. All right. Get your, get your get your selection in real quick, and then we'll count them. I'm going to put, when I put in stop, then we're going to count who had the most, <laughs> okay? All right, then we'll see who had the most numbers, okay? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, let me do this. Okay, all right, there we go. All right, so now I'm going to count how many twos and threes we got. All right, let me count the twos. I'll count the twos. Somebody else count the threes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. It looks like there are 16 twos. Um, Rebecca, there's no four. There is no four, Rebecca. <laughs> okay. All right. So it's hard enough to do this without the, yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, so there were 14 twos. Let me see how many threes were there. There are 13 threes. Okay, so it's 14 twos. We're going to go with number two. All right, we'll get to everybody eventually, guys. I just can't do them. <sighs> okay, all at once. All right, so number two, this is whose collage we're going to do today. 
it is Devin Rex Art. So Devin Rex, we're going to do your collage today. <laughs> Maybe. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys. I need, I need a Tylenol. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm okay. All right. So let's see. Let me get some um, couple of pieces of cardstock. <laughs> oh my gosh. We're going to have to have some new rules for giveaways. That's all I can say. We're going to have to come up with some new giveaway rules. All right. <laughs> uh, I know, Linda. I have it right here. All right. So, yeah, Yolanda is um, uh, Devin. I just call her Devin Rex because that's what she goes by here. But she's not made a secret of, you know, her, her name. So, okay. So I will keep this. Hang on. Uh, let me take off my little notes here. She has some napkins here, so we'll go through what this, I don't know if she sent that or if that was just got mixed in. <laughs> okay, so, <clears throat> all right. I know it is, Diane, it's a crazy Monday. <laughs> Janet. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Be sure to unfold the page. I washi taped a direct. Okay, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna go through it all here in a minute. We'll try to get to it all, Devin. Okay, so let's see. Um, all right, let's see what we got. I'm not sure if that was mine or hers, but what it's gonna be included. She has some little some uh, Devin planets, some Devin Rex planets. Let's kind of put that on here so you can see that. Okay, so she has a napkin. This is a succulent cactus uh napkin here she has this napkin and again guys i've not planned any of this out and what i'm gonna do with the collage um and uh so i'm just kind of playing it by ear okay so we got this one she must like she must like her succulents here's a bridge Here's a lighthouse windmill, a cityscape. Uh, is this a nuclear reactor? <laughs> is this a nuclear reactor? A bird, a frog. Let me see if I can move that light over. There we go. It's got a, had a little bit of a glare. Uh, <laughs> Okay, so let's see. Some flowers, some more cityscapes, a fish, some more fish, bird, and then the, um, what do you call it in Australia, the opera house. Here's uh, some kind of a cathedral. Two little people walking in the light. Oh, so this must be what, is this what you're talking about? So this is one of, uh, Devin makes these, uh, these transfers. Thank you, Tina. I need all the thumbs up I can get today. <laughs> I need all the thumbs up I can get today. Uh, so is that what it is, Katie? I don't know. A time portal. Okay. So hi, G. <laughs> so she makes these uh, transfers. So maybe we'll have to try to use that. Oh, and I like these horses. I, I also do, I like to go by colors. So right now I'm liking this right here. What the, hang on. Let me go see what my cats are doing. They're setting off the alarm. What are y'all doing down here? Okay, they sit up in the window. I keep it open for them, but I think they're seeing Chippy out there, and I don't want them to go through the screen, dive through the screen. <laughs> so I close that window. Okay. Ah. Oh. 
let's see. Oh, I'm talking about the magazine page I fold. It has washi tape on it. Oh, well, maybe we haven't got to that yet. Okay, so I'm liking that. I'm liking this. Look, that looks cool, doesn't it? All right, so let's see. Oh, this right here has washi tape. It's closed. All right, so I'm not sure what, what I'm supposed to do with this. Am I supposed to look in here? <laughs> I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do with this, Devin. There's washi tape closing it. This, is this what you're talking about? Is it, what am I supposed to know about this? Oh. Let me go back. Uh, Time of the Amazing Pages folder has a washi tape on it. Okay, I opened it up. Is there something I'm supposed to know about this? Okay. Let's see. Vintage Cars. This is from a 1959 Life magazine. Some more washi tape things. I'm just not sure what I'm supposed to do with these washi tape pieces. You just got them together? Is that it? I'm not sure. <laughs> that was just a color inspiration for the items you sent. Okay. All right. So I think I do like this for the color inspiration. I like this, this, this. And y'all know I don't ever use all of it. I kind of like that. I'm picking through. I'm picking through my color inspiration. I like I like these succulents. But if I use this and this, I don't know that I'm going to have room for this. Maybe I'll have room for these. I don't think I'll have room for this. Okay, let's see. There's a couple little planets here. I might have a place for those. Okay, let's see. All righty, there we go. This is what I'm going to use. <laughs> use a flux capacitor. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Is it supposed to be where to go? Did I? Yeah. This. <laughs> Not if I can use. It. We'll see. Yeah. I mean, I'm only. You got to remember, guys. That these collages are only eight and a half by eleven. So I can mail them, right? Because I mail them, I, I mail out the originals. So I don't make them any bigger than eight and a half by 11. And then even that, sometimes I cut them down depending. So we'll see here. So do I want this as a base? Do I want the flux capacitor to be there? <laughs> I like this better than this. And I like her. I do like this paper, though. I'll keep this because I like this textury stuff. So I like her. <laughs> Use the flux capacitor. <laughs> All right, if I put her here. See, this is just too big. This would take up the whole thing. I don't really want to do that. I'd rather have this be a doorway or a portal or something like that, you know. And I think I'll cut this down a little here. Let's make this a little smaller. Her helmet, like that. And that little triangle right there, that looks kind of cool. All right. <laughs> yeah. Something like that. We'll see what else. We'll see our little... <clears throat> I'll use one of those. What else do I want to use here? Okay, so let's see. Right, 
let's see. Oh, what did Janet say? Maybe I'm projecting. What are you projecting, Janet? Let me go back. I missed what you said. Uh, you're not missing. Uh, well, let's see. Well, no one gets it in the first hour until, <laughs> until the coffee kicks in. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Janet. Hi, Jeff. How you doing? <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. <clears throat> so I don't know. I don't know if I want this in there or not. Oh my god, those big scissors. Let's get my little ones here. All right, so Devin, you still here? You still with the tour? <laughs> I'm still discombobulated from the giveaways. I guess I should wait till the end of the show. Maybe if I wait till the end of the show to do giveaways, that would work out better. <laughs> Instead of at the beginning. Right? <laughs> Instead of at the beginning. <laughs> Okay, this is going to be. Because <clears throat> then I lose my I lose my mojo a little bit when I have to do that, you know. Lose my mojo. Well, I should say my uh, my flow. Hi, Joanna or Jonica. Let's see. Kind of like that. All right, what else? <clears throat> All right, y'all give me a minute to fussy cut because I'm not going to paint out anything today. You know, like a lot of times I'll paint the background. Maybe we'll get another one done today. We'll see. Uh, I like to paint paint in the background, but I don't know that I'm going to do it on this one because it's like coming together without paint, painting anything. <laughs> so the, if you don't paint things out or in, you know, reverse collage it, then you have to fussy cut it uh, to get it uh, to lay on top of your background. Ah. <sighs> Do y'all get all these aesthetic stuffs from your, um, I'm not sh sure that question, um, Arcana or Arcana. I'm not sure of your question. Where do we get the collage stuff? Magazines, books, uh, calendars, posters. If that's what you're asking, where do we get all this stuff? And when you're fussy cutting, you always want to move your paper. Don't try to do this, you know. Just kind of hold your scissors still and just, you know, just do this. Just kind of go while you're moving your paper. You'll get a cleaner cut and you can follow along the details a lot easier if you do that. Yeah, I think I'm going to make that new rule for myself. Giveaways will be done at the end. <laughs> Giveaways will be done at the end of the show instead of at the beginning or middle. All right. There we go. 
All right, so I'm not going to use this, 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 this. All right, so now what I'm doing, so I've got it sitting on top of a, a piece of, uh, you know, it's all really on top of this main piece here. Um, so if you have a bunch of little collage items that are sitting all, you know, individually, there's a couple of things you can do. You can take a picture. We'll go ahead and do that. You can take a picture of it so that you know exactly where everything is. Okay. Or the other thing you can do and or is have another piece of have another piece of paper next to it so that you can just move things over. But because everything right now is on top of this main page right here, um it's all going to slide just like right off of this, right? So what I think I'm going to do is just kind of move everything over just kind of like this, just so I kind of know where everything goes. Because I want to paste, I'm going to glue this on first, right? I'm going to glue this on first. And uh, yeah, so let me just trim this down. And then I'll, after I um, after I get all this glued down, if there's, whoops, if there's any uh, edges that are still showing on the piece, I'll just trim the whole thing down to a little bit smaller. All right, so now let me get my uh, matte medium. Get my golden matte medium, some baby wipes. <clears throat> and this is what I use to glue all my collage, golden matte medium. And after you open it, put a baggie or some kind of plastic on it so you don't glue the lid to the jar. All right, so now let's get a little tray here to pour some out. And then I'll get my glue brush. All right, so Devin's making up the story to go with her collage. <laughs> a succulent war warrior in her spaceship to save the planet Earth. <laughs> oh, good one, Devin. All right, so here we go. Let's put out a little bit of... There we go. And then the baggie and the lid. And then again, I keep my glue brushes, are the only brushes I keep in water. Oh, let's see. Dried off on the paper towel. So my glue brushes. All right, so that's what I'm going to start with. I'll try, I'll try not to make a mess all over the place. I think I can do it okay. Okay. <clears throat> Let's move Bob Ross out of the way. All right. And I do put a generous amount. I uh, probably should put a little something behind this. But one of the nice things about this wallpaper here, and, and that's another thing I do. I want to give away some of this uh uh, peel and stick wallpaper for you to make your journals. I did send Mary Atia some. Um, but yeah, I don't think I'll do any more giveaways today, except this to Devin, because I already know who it's going to. And then what I'll do on the back here is I'm going to put um, matte medium on the back here. But what, what I was going to say is one of the nice things about one of the nice things about this oh, we've got to be careful there. Um, the uh, Oops, let's get that down flat. Is the uh, hang on, guys? I gotta concentrate here. I can't I have to keep this moving. I gotta keep this wet and get a card here. Is um, this is this is slick, so you can wash it. You can wash this. All right. So now what I'm gonna do is take my card. I'm gonna put a little bit on, of uh, matte medium on the card so it'll it'll slide like this. So I can mash out all the wrinkles, or most of them anyway. So like when I get any glue here, it just wipes up because this is coated, right? This is coated. And there are a few wrinkles in there. I didn't put enough, I didn't put enough matte medium on the base. And I gotta be careful. This is a magazine page. So you gotta be careful not to scrape the ink off. That's why I keep putting more matte medium on the card so that the card stays wet so it doesn't tear the paper. All right, so let's just get a nice coat there. Let's go turn it around and get some up underneath. Okay. Let's 
So yeah, my mom's flying back from seeing her brother and sister-in-law. She's been up there over the weekend, up in Washington State. And uh, okay, so let's clean this off. And let's make sure there's nothing on the edge there. And let's get something to dry that now. Let's get a couple of tissues. So this is one of the nice things about the wallpaper, the peel and stick wallpaper. Bye, Kathy. Anybody else coming and going? Thanks, everybody. Uh, that's a good hint about keeping the card wet. Yeah, so that it's slick while you're moving it around, right? Okay. So now let's kind of, let me go ahead and dry it so I can lay it out without it just sticking. And you can kind of see through it a little bit, which is fine. I think that's a cool look. Now I can lay this out just to see where I want things. Like this. Something like that. So I kind of like it. I think this needs to just a tad there. This needs to come down just a little. Where do you get your pill and stick? Oh, R? R. <laughs> I got it from, uh, I got it off of Amazon. Would you like a piece of it, R? Send me your address, R. Here's my email. I'm not going to do a giveaway right now. I'll give you some, R, <laughs> just because you asked about it. I'll send you a piece of it, okay? Enough to cover a journal. Let me find, let me get my, I can't even type my email correctly. R. Email me your address if you'd like a piece of uh, this paper. And I'll send you enough to cover a journal. You know, whatever journal you have or a piece of uh chipboard to make a journal with all right so i'm gonna go ahead and start here guys and you really want to put your matte medium on the back on your base and over uh, on the back like in other words here and here and then over the top as well you really need it in all three places okay so let's go ahead i'm gonna want this right under this little thing right there. And this is one of uh, Devin's, what do you call it, uh, image transfers. I want that kind of right over her head, kind of like that. I think I got it close enough to where I want it. It's not getting wrinkles. This is thin, thin magazine image here. And that's her helmet. Now you can take your card and while it's wet and and carefully, <laughs> you gotta do this carefully, mash it down, get all the wrinkles and bubbles out. But do it, take your time on all these little images because they're all different. Some are thinner than others. Some will tear easier. I think my family's all texting each other there. All right. All right, let's dry this. Apparently broadcasting from the Black Knight South. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, Tina. <laughs> and speaking of things like black light satellite or anything else like that, well, hang on, let me finish drawing this. T 
Martin is also a mod over at Pete's uh, Creepy Little Book channel. And uh, <laughs> if you like uh, speculative type shows, everything from UFOs, Bigfoots, anything kind of like, you know, anything, you know, like that. Um, it, yeah, but Pete does stream at like midnight, 1 a.m., 2 a.m., 3 a.m. So uh, he streams late. I have to always watch the recordings. But anyway, Tina is also a mod over on that channel. If uh, Tina, if you want to put a link to Pete's uh, YouTube channel in there, feel free. Uh, yeah, Devin, I know, right? I know. Thank you. Okay, so wait a minute. I'm going to trim it down, then I'm going to put it on another piece of white cardstock as a, maybe a little edge. But I want to make this nice and clean on the edges. So I'm going to go ahead and trim down all the edges here. And then we'll see if it looks better on black. I think it looks better on white border. I'll put it on a black or white border. I think it looked better on a white border. So let's clean this off here. So what do you think, Davin? You like it? <laughs> that was a quick. That was a quick uh, collage for uh, Devin this morning. And uh, I'll uh, I'll tape that down on the border there for her. So I hope you like it, Devin. There we go. It's a little bit better color. It's a little flashed out. Let me turn the brightness down just a tad. Turn the brightness down just. A, there we go. There we go. That's better. <laughs> yeah. There's uh there's Pete's creepy little book. You. Working, lurking. Okay, KK. Welcome. Thanks, Devin. So there we go. We did a quick little collage there for Devin. <laughs> I like it. It turned out quick and, you know, quick and easy there. And we'll put it, I'll, like I said, I'll put it on this uh, white cardstock border. All right. Let me take a breath, read chat, see who keeps being ding. And I'm sure it's my family. We, we're all on group chat, so... We all get, yeah, it's all my sister-in-laws, and yeah, I'll, re I'll read all that later, but that's what all the dingin's about. Okay, so uh, let me uh, get a fresh baby wipe, wipe off my hands here. All right, take a breath. Take a breath. Love the succulent shoulder patch. Yeah, that's part of her. That's her. That's that's uh, you know, her uniform that has all her. Uh, you know, we think of it all as a mech. You know, mechanical in space things. But you know, her oxygen could. You know, you know what I should probably do is I probably should do an uh, a tube, like an a oxygen tube or something coming from her helmet to there. What do you think? Would you like that? Uh, <laughs> Would you like that, Devin? Let's see. Let's see here. Maybe we can just use a little piece of something, something here. Let's see how. You tell me if you want a little oxygen tube. Let's see if I can make one out of this. <laughs> make an oxygen thing out of this. Is that too much? Maybe you should go behind. I don't know. I mean, I can envision it, but it doesn't really look right. <laughs> yeah, there's her uh, oxygen, her oxygen tube from. Uh... <laughs> this is this is how she breathes. It's different. It's not like a, a mech. It's not like a mechanical. She gets it. Uh, she gets it from her her this. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, this is uh, this is a, just a piece of a watch, faithful mass. Yeah, <laughs> so I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Hi, Elizabeth. Let's see who else am I seeing here? But uh, I really like the the little birds over the the portal there. I really like the birds over the portal. <clears throat> Every succulent should be able to breathe. Well, it's breathing for her. See, she's got, she's breathing it there. 
All right. So should we try another one? What do y'all think, guys? Should we try another one? Oh, and then, <clears throat> then let me tell y'all what I do here. Let me get this here. So then what I do is after I make the collage, and I will attach this to that for, for um, uh, a final. So what I do here is then when I have leftovers like this, <clears throat> Fibs collage leftovers. And then I put them all in here. And then eventually I will go through this after I make everybody's collages. After I get them all done, I will go back through here and make collages out of all like it's everybody's stuff, right? It's just, and I'm not, I'm not naming it, I'm not tagging it. It's just whatever's left over from making the collages. They all go in this pack. And then eventually. I will work out of this pack just to make some random collages for whoever. If we do a giveaway. <laughs> okay, so this one will go to Devin Rex. And again, I will attach it to that. And uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, so let me put this to the side and uh, let it dry. I don't know. Uh, I don't know if I'll varnish it or not. I think if I varnish it, what's going to happen is some some more of the what do you call it will come through the text from the back and i don't want that to happen a little bit did but that's okay so i'll just probably go roll with that all right let's put that in the pile to go out <laughs> all right i think i don't know if i should let y'all pick because you know how convoluted this gets <laughs> okay so i have three and one so let's, uh, what do y'all, y'all want to, I don't know if I want to ask you, you guys, you know, I should just go with one. I don't even remember who's who's. Um, let's see here. See, I have a whole bunch. I have, let's see, I have one, two, three, four, five. So I've got about eight more. I think I have about eight more collages to make. I have about eight more. From people that have sent in their uh, collage fodder and we get eventually we get to them all eventually okay so let's see who number one is. number one is abigail so abigail is in the netherlands so this is for abigail which again it's just a um it's just going to be uh an eight and a half by eleven envelope right so i do international on these as well because it's just an envelope Sorry, guys, I already picked number one. <laughs> All right, so let's see what Abigail sent. I do not remember. I don't, you know, I, I looked at it when she sent it, but it's been a while, right? Okay. Hi, Sherry. Who else am I missing? I'm sure everybody, other people coming in. All right, so let's see how, what kind of collage we want to make. It might be a quick one. It might be a painty one. I don't know. I'm winging it, people. I'm winging it. We're rolling with it. <laughs> so let's see what Abigail sent. Okay, she sent a penguin. She sent this scene here. And it could be, you could go either way. I kind of like those birds. I'm going to go with those. I'll save that. Let's see. <clears throat> this might be a little creepy one. This might be a little, uh, what do you call it, um, Alfred Hitchcock-esque. Alfred Hitchcock S with the birds. <laughs> okay, so she sends a lot of birds. Let's see. I like this piece right here. I like this little mountain thing. Camera. Oh, I like this. This is cool. This is even kind of reminds me of uh, what you call it from the birds. We might use her. We might go with the bird theme here. Some different artists. Somebody, some people just standing there looking. I like that. I like that with the plane there. I like this right here. Because it's also the colors. I think I'll go with this. And then there was this little bird right here. I don't know if I'll use that, but there's this little bird. I 
I'll keep this. There's that. That's kind of cool, too. Hmm. And I like this, too. I like both of these. Well, I really like that, the guy. But this is going to be, it's going. this would have to be two different things. Because, you know, it has to be eight and a half by 11 or thereabouts. It can't get too big, you know. Because this could be, a, this could be a whole story right here. Like in an art journal, this would be a cool story. But I think I'm going to roll with her, the birds, and this one right here with the plane, you know. I don't know that I'll paint. It may just be another, let's just stick it together kind of thing. I don't know. <clears throat> I think there's a little bit of bird over there, but let's see. Right now I'm just trimming it down to manageable sizes. And then if I use him, I don't know, that might be, I, I was kind of thinking that this would be kind of a nice little, um, uh, what do you call it? fussy cut item I don't know that I'll use them but I'll fussy cut them out just in case so Abigail is like I said in the Netherlands uh, she comes in every now and then but you know that time difference I haven't seen her here today so if you're talking to me put it in caps make sure you have live chat clicked at the top so you see all the chat I see all the chat, but you won't if you don't have a uh, live chat collect selected. All right. All right. Let's see what we can do with this. What was the last time we did a fodder swap? Um, I don't know. I don't know. You mean, or somebody just sends me some in, Faithful? It wasn't really a swap, if that's what you're talking about. I don't know. Or do you, you, do you want to host one, Faithful Mass? Yeah, we've done napkin swap. We've done zines. We've done artist cards, ATCs. Um, the thing about doing something like, let me just stop and just look at chat for a minute. The thing about doing something like a fodder, a fodder, you know, collage fodder swap, like what you sent me, Faithful Mass, the pack, the envelope, when you do something like that, it's multiple things in one pack. So you would have to just swap out the whole envelope, right? So like, let's say you and Janet and me, we, we send each other an envelope full of fodder. I can't, or whoever's the host, can't go through all that fodder and go, okay, so this one, this is, you know, swap out the individual pieces. It would have to be the whole envelope. So, like, if you your envelope might go to Janet, Janet's envelope might go to me, mine would go to, you know, like that. It would have to be the whole envelope, not the individual fodder pieces. That would be way, way, way too much work, you know? Yeah, I've had enough <laughs> hurting cats for the day anyway. But anyway, so you'd have to think about that, whoever, if you wanted to do one faithful mess or whoever, if you wanted to do a collage fodder, swap you'd have to just swap out a whole envelope and you'd have to make sure everybody sent the same size envelope self-addressed stamped envelopes and all that business right so it would have to be a certain amount you couldn't like send big packs of stuff and then one person just send a little tiny envelope you know you're gonna have to think about all that you have to think about all that stuff when you do a swap okay so let's see here I think, do I want to, I really like the board, but that would take up the whole thing. I could do that. You just do the whole thing on here on a, on a piece of card stock. I kind of like that little bit of yellow too, but let's cut it down. <clears throat> oh, thank you. Samantha, thank you so much <laughs> for the $50 super 
<laughs> that, that makes me feel better. So it wasn't too bad. <laughs> Herding cats wasn't too bad. Thank you, Samantha, for the $50 <laughs> super chat. I wrote, I'm writing it down, and you will uh, you will be getting a print the first week of June. So thank you, Samantha, for the $50 super chat. I appreciate it. And thank you guys at a PayPal tip jar, me too. Uh, I don't usually announce those. Uh, but make sure if you PayPal tip jar me, guys, that you leave me your address so I can send you a print. If, you, if there's a comment section that nobody sees but me, you can leave a comment when you leave a tip jar. And in the comment section, make sure you leave me your address so I can send you out a print, right? Okay, I want to be able to thank you guys. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you, Samantha. Uh, swap directly with each other. Um, well, here, the problem with this, Jane, again, I personally do not give out anybody's address. Nobody, not even to the mods. Mods don't even have you guys' address unless you've given it to them. I do not share your addresses with anybody. So if we randomly selected people to swap with, you will have to be giving your, your home address to a complete stranger. Uh, most people are not going to want to do that. So you have to think about that. You know, you have to think about that. Um, let's see what else questions. Hi, Gary. Gary, if y'all don't follow him, is the is the uh, artist writer for um, Titan, Mouse of Might. Go follow Gary on his YouTube channel and find out all the details on his books. Not just that one, but his other art auctions and other things that he does on his channel. So follow Gary. Um, okay, so if y'all have any more, if y'all have any questions or comments, put them in caps, guys, so I know you're talking to me. So we're just making random collages based on the, co the collage fodder you guys have sent me. And um, so uh, this is uh, from a stack that Abigail sent me. And uh, again, anything I don't use will get put in um, put back in the envelope for random collage later and it's uh, it's left up to my discretion what I use sometimes I might add a watch or a clock or something else to it if I want to sometimes I won't I'll just use what they send so this one is Abigail so this is kind of you know she's gonna have to get a lot of covered up so let's see what we can do here because I really kind of wanted her to have the bird situation going here so let's go ahead and see what we can do cut the mountains out so how many of y'all here like to do collage in any form even if it's just an art card an art card or a you know, your art journals. See, that's kind of getting lost. There we go. It's going to have to go somewhere like up here in her hair or something so you can see it. And I like that right there because I like the way that the hair is coming around this way. I think this needs to be a little more down there like that. <clears throat> Hi, Amy. Took the day off work. Still feeling icky. Well, well, I hope you're fit. Get over it quickly. Thanks for being here. I'm liking that there. Let's see. And you can also, guys, if you're not sure or if you um, want to stick something, you know, and look, see, it's off the edge. That's okay. But you can just do a little, just a little tiny sliver of, uh, glue stick just to hold it in place until you decide so everything's not moving around but don't worry about things going off the edge you can always trim that off later right so so rachel does atc collage and guys speaking i just saw because rachel had emailed me her um 
make sure you guys go over to hashtag Society of Idea Collectors. I showed them all this morning, the homework assignments from last Wednesday that you guys participated in and sent into um, society, hashtag Society of Idea Collectors, all one word, on Instagram, or hashtag me, Inky Well, with an I, I-N-K-I, Inky Well. And um, so if you're participating in any of the... Uh, assignments make sure you um make sure you uh do that so you can participate <clears throat> do i like that there and again sometimes i paint these in sometimes i'm just you know collaging them so Jonica says, my hobby is collecting fodder, but I never do anything with it all. Girl, I ought to give you your own assignment to use that. To use that. <laughs> your own assignment to dig into your collage fodder. Now, that's not going to be my Wednesday assignment. I already have a Wednesday assignment for you guys. But, you know, if you have something laying around, which under supplies, if you made a list of your supplies, you should be um, thinking about ways to use those. Even if you just at least start writing it down. When you make your list of supplies in your list, draw a little, you know, I'm not telling you all mind map yet, but <laughs> eventually you can mind map out your supplies and how possible ways to use them. Okay. Um, well, that's part, part of that, Sue, is you have to be able to have a card you know, some, you know, some kind of card to mash down with gently, gently, because you can tear magazine images. You have to mash them down. The other, the other trick to not getting bubbles. And of course I'm hurrying here. So there's going to probably be some bubbles in them, but um, you want to put the matte medium on here, here, and on the top. It has to be in all three places. That really does make, um, yeah. <laughs> Jane. Yeah, the teacher's coming out. Yeah, uh, that really does make a difference on uh, the bubble situation, right? It does. It does make a difference. Okay, so let's see what else. See now, see this won't fit. I really like her. I mean, I could slap it on there just to be slapping it on, but it's that's not gonna, you know, be you know, conducive. I really wanted to do a lot of birds, so I think what I'm gonna have to do is all right. So let's just. Let's do this. So what I'm going to do, I still like the color of this, and I don't really want to lose this color. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a slot here. So I'm going to cut around her face enough like this, okay, so that the birds can fit in there. I'm going to move her over a little more. And I can always cut off or paint or anything here, too. So let's see about this. I'm not sure this bird is needed. I just like it. <laughs> I like the way it lines up. But I may not need that down there because I'm going to have this up here. So. That's going to look like a tangent right there. So I'm going to have to do something about that. There we go. That's better. It's better right there. Okay. I love collage and watercolors together. And then September. <laughs> I don't know what that means, Samantha. And then September. Is that, was that a typo took over? Uh, let's see. I mean, a uh, autocorrect. Hi, Melinda. Working and lurking. Turn that one sideways. Yeah, I don't want the birds. I don't want the birds going this away. Yeah, I know. I want. I want it like this. I want her like she's kind of like looking that way. So. I like it right there. Uh, let's see. Hi, Fernando. Bye. Thanks for stopping in. Sorry I missed you. 
All right, let's see what else we got here. So we got some more of these birds here. So let's just cut this off here, maybe. I can probably make this fit myself right along her hairline. I'm going to go there. It's probably a glare there. Let's move over this way a little. There we go. Okay, like that. Get rid of this, 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 this. Okay, so I'm liking this so far. And I, I like this bird. And I, what do I do with the penguin? Do I throw him down on the floor? Where'd my penguin go? Where'd you go, little penguin? Oh, here he is. Okay. <laughs> I got I got put paper all over my floor because I'm just I'm not hitting the garbage can. Um, yeah, that's what I was saying, Donna. It's like from the, the movie The Birds. That's our ode to the birds. <laughs> ode to the birds. Uh, so I don't know if I need him or want him. I really kind of like him, but I'm not sure. What do y'all think? Y'all like him? See, I he, he I don't want his his little head will get lost in that, so it has to come down into a lighter area. So that means he'd have to come down to here. Do I like that better? Do I like that better than this? I don't know if I do. Do I like this better? There's some oh, maroon in here. Some maroon color. No penguin. I'm thinking that this looks better and I can just put maroon in here. You know, this color right here. I think that would probably be better. All right, so let's see if I can tack all this down. So I'm just going to put a little bit of whoops, glue stick there to kind of put it where I want. That other little, where'd that little piece go? There it is. <clears throat> That's not it. Oh, this goes on this side. Where's the, uh, where'd my little bird go? Can it slide up under there? There it is. All right. Just kind of get it so. And I can paint in some maroon, or I could use uh, paper. If I want to use all paper, I could put in some paper that that's that color. I could even use some of this, I think. Just the, I just want the color in there, you know, not the images, just the color. All right, let's see. Unless you paint across the bottom of the cage, then the penguin's head will show. <laughs> I'm just thinking about putting in some uh, a little bit of maroon in here. Or cut it down, too. See, look, it can be a smaller collage, which it might end up being. Right. So let's see about moving this over just a little right about there. I think that'll do. Okay, so I'm going to try to leave it kind of together while I get everything um, on my matte medium rolling here. So we'll see. Now, I'm not going to watch chat while I do this. I want to concentrate, guys, on making sure I try to get as little bubbles as I can and all. So I can't be stopping and looking at chat while I'm doing this gluing because I want it to look good. Unless you paint. Okay, let's see. Now she's hurting birds. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Rachel. Now I'm hurting birds. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay, so let's see what we can do here. All right. <clears throat> Let me go ahead. I'm going to do a couple things here. I'm going to get me a nice thick coat on here. And see, I have to keep this wet while I get, do the other. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this piece here just to kind of glue on, right? This other cardstock. 
So I am going to put matte medium all over the back and then I'll just lift up the edges where the other piece is on. Okay, so now I'm going to take this. Okay. Uh, I gotta like lay it. <laughs> I gotta get it just right. There we go. <laughs> nope, not quite. Let's see here. Hang on. There we go. All righty. And you could do it piece by piece. I mean, I am kind of just slapping it down here to try to get it all in one. All in one. There we go. Let's get this little guy here. I need some. Need that right there, an exact spot. Okay, so now, now I'm going to kind of get any edges that I missed. Let's get under here. Talking to myself. Let's get this. And I'm probably not in frame. All right. Now, baby white card. Okay, I messed up her hair there. You have to be careful on the magazine pages, especially, are thin. So you want to make sure you have some matte medium on your scraper to keep it moving and you got to watch the little areas like that little bird there he's easily torn so all right so let's see if that'll do it all right let's hit it with the heat gun and i'll trim it out Rachel, sometimes I do. <laughs> and sometimes doing the back helps to flatten it too. Oh, I got something on it, stuck to something. Well, that's all right. I'll paint it out because I'm going to put some uh, maroon on here too. So I'll fix her little spots there. Okay. Yeah, I turned it over and there's something, it's stuck to some matte medium on there on her face. That's why it's good to use something like the Tim Holtz uh, glass mat, but I can't use the glass mat on camera because it just puts a big glare on the camera, so you can't use uh, that. Okay, so now let's go ahead and trim this out, and we'll do some more work on it. And again, we'll put it on some kind of a base, either a black. It might be better on a, I don't know, white's not bad. But I want red. I'm going to put some maroon in here. So let's go ahead. And I think now if I'm going to bring out the paint, I'm going to have to have something to paint on here. Let me get a piece of something here to paint on. So I'm not making too big of a mess. I'm going to send pics. Here, I'm working. Yeah, you have to, or are you not on, uh, are you on Instagram? You can tell people, I posted something on Instagram. Here, you know, put the name of your Instagram. Okay, so let's see here. 
So let's get out some. All right, I think I'm done with the glue for now. So I'm going to get the excess off my brush. And then this goes back in the glue water. It's the only brushes I keep in glue. I mean in water, in my glue brushes. Okay. Get some of the matte medium off. Let's see. What else do I want? Okay. Let's move this out of the way. Over here. Get something to throw some paint on, some black, and some maroon. Uh, let's see. I'm going to move my big jar out of the way. I have more room. All right. Let's see. <clears throat> Nope, it needs to be more sienna. Probably a little bit of maroon and sienna together. Those two colors. No, that's too pink. Hang on, guys. I'm going to dig around for a minute. See what color paints I want. And I'll just mix them myself. That's too pink. I think I'll just go with some red and sienna and mix my own. Okay. All right. Some red. Sienna. Paintbrush. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and first fix her face and all this. So now this is going to let me get some I'm going to get the brightness not the brightness back a little there we go all right So now I'm just going to play with some paint for a little bit, guys. There's a little bit of wrinklage in here. I can see it. I didn't quite mash it down quite as well as I'd like. But we're going to roll with it. And I just clean my brush off on this. Okay, so let's see if I can get... I don't probably need a little tiny bit of white, too. Oops. So I'll need a little gray. Okay, so. <clears throat> Do I need to zoom in? Let me zoom in one here. There we go. That's better. All right. Paint this little bird in. Just so he's not outlined in white. I can wear some black. Still with the tour. Sorry, guys. I'm just kind of trying to get it, get her done. Let's put a little. <clears throat> I need to send my photo and let you get rid of some of my wrinklage. Um. Well, I'm not understanding, Rachel. Send me your photo to get rid of your wrinkles. <laughs> you mean your pic, your actual photo? You want me to? You want me to collage out your wrink actual wrinkles? <laughs> you want me to photo? You want to Photoshop you? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> oh my 
goodness. <laughs> oh, let's see. I just need a slight bit of gray there. So I'm going to kind of get rid of that. Maybe I'll put in a little bit more, some more, a little bit of, uh, what do you call it, uh, clouds in there. Let's, oh, I want a big white blob on there. Let's kind of tone that down a little. There we go. She's got some little, she's got some little blemishes there. Let's get rid of those blemishes. <laughs> there you go, Rachel. Is that what you mean? Just get rid of the blemishes, paint them out. I think I'm going to put some clouds in coming across here. All right. This is the fun part for me is doing the, the painting de in details like this. But it usually is the time we, uh, as the, the part we never have enough time to do because we're doing all the other, you know, the other uh, bits. But I like doing all the little painty bits, you know. Kind of want some wild clouds up in here. Maybe we'll have them coming across her head. Let's knock this one back a little. Larry, the cable guy, really nice guy. Oh, <laughs> that's cool, Tina. Upstairs met um, Jeff Foxworthy at the airport. He says the nicest guy. Uh, Hubster and Jeff Foxworthy were on the same flight, I think, back to Atlanta. And uh, there was like a 12-hour delay. I forgot what happened. They were both like 10, 12 hours. And he said, Jeff Foxworthy just sat and talked to people, gave people autographs, patient as can be, never got all flustered or out of sorts. And Hubster's that way too, very laid back, doesn't, nothing bothers him. Um, and Jeff Foxworthy was that way, just laid back, just patient, signing autographs, waiting until he could get on the plane. And uh, so, yeah. I was thinking of touch. Oh, you're thinking. <laughs> you were thinking about a full on like facelift with Photoshop or something, Rachel. <laughs> Rachel just didn't want to get rid of so I can move this now. Rachel didn't just want to get rid of some blemishes. She wanted me to do a full on make. <laughs> oh, yeah, he was. He was real friendly with that and just patient, laid back. When you have a cloudy brain, this is what it is. <laughs> All right, so I just want a little bit of darker up under here. And you can use pencil and you can go back. I mean, you can take take your time when you're doing painting in your collages or any kind of mixed media. Don't you don't have to be in a rush, kind of like I have to be to get <laughs> get her done. <laughs> Oh, anyway, <laughs> so I do want a little bit of this sienna, though. I want this kind of just kind of tapering into some edges here. Not really. It's almost like this is part of her, you know, going in from like color to black and white. It's kind of like two different er er 
area eras eras area <laughs> I just want a little bit more color in there. Just a little. I think this needs to be done something right in there. <laughs> Scrape off your wrinkles, Jane. Yeah. Hi, Dorothy. Anybody else I'm missing coming in? Thanks, everybody, for being here. Oh, so I think what I want to do is I want a little bit of this color. Oops, not that color. Not the red. Not the red. <laughs> Touch my finger to the wrong little batch there. I want this uh, sienna color. And a little bit of that down in here. And just a little more brightness of it in here. I think that needs to kind of be attached right there. Don't like that one space. <clears throat> what do y'all think? What do y'all think? Let's make this more of a hill behind there. Then I think I want some more of these. Let me get a Sharpie pen. Do I have a Sharpie pen handy? Of course, I don't have one handy when I want one. Let's see. Uh. Some of these little, little um, branches or whatever. I'm going to make a more, a little bit more tree, tree shape instead of just sticks. Kind of like Bob Ross's trees, you know. You can just scribble in little trees. So you can do this. I'm doing it real tiny, but this is what I'm doing down there. Just like that. <laughs> Just little. Thanks, Elizabeth. How's how you doing, by the way? Haven't seen you in a while. Just some tiny little trees shapes down in here. Rather than just sticks sticking up. We'll just carry them over to this little piece over here. <clears throat> There's one over here. Oh, it needs to be a little taller. Hollywood poster for the new Alfred Hitchcock of Birds. <laughs> yeah. Uh, nowadays, they'd make it so violent and horrible. I mean, it was bad enough, you know, probably in, in, in its day, the birds. Now, I can't even imagine what they do to the birds these days. I don't know if they can make, you know, some of those like, you know, like I love the movie Rear Window. That's one of my favorite Alfred Hitchcock movies. Well, it's probably my very favorite Alfred Hitchcock movie. Uh, Rear Window. A lot of people think it's, I don't know, I like it. 
but um you know it they they would really <laughs> really you know mess up but i don't know is alfred hitchcock movies are they so um copyrighted that you couldn't make re do remakes that you couldn't do reboots of them let me get some more baby wipes guys <clears throat> get some of this off my fingers here while i'm reading chat yes a happy little trees <laughs> yeah yeah uh let's see little bird of doom over there <laughs> uh, i'm just trying to i'm trying to get as much of this off my hands as i can but you know matte medium will um make the paint even stick to your hands even more so i have a what do you call it as craft scrubby i don't think they make them anymore the ranger craft scrubbies i'm gonna let me go let me go wash my hands real quick guys i'll be right back <clears throat> the bulk of it off but still this is what happens when you use a craft scrubby it starts pe peeling it look see so it's all peeling off but <laughs> all right let's see do you how do you better a masterpiece oh yeah to make the birds better i don't know but people try to reboot star wars and everything else so you know what are you gonna do right all right, so I'm just still working on getting off the matte medium. And my craft scrubby does get it off, but I would be there for about five more minutes. Oh, thank you, Amy Hawk, for the super sticker. Thank you so much. Make sure you send me your address, Amy, if you'd like a print. If you'd like one of my prints, I send them out the first week of every month to anybody that supported the channel the previous weeks, you know, the previous month. Thank you so much, Amy, for the super sticker. I write everybody down on a post-it note, put you in my list, put you in my book. I do not share your addresses with anybody else, not even the mods. So, um, sometimes I do, Linda, sometimes I don't. It depends. It, uh, it depends on what I'm working on. Sometimes I varnish them. And if I do varnish them, let me show you all what I use. <clears throat> when I do varnish, I use this, the Delta Ceram Coat Gloss Exterior Interior Varnish. And um, you used to be able to get it at Michael's. I'm not sure they have it anymore. You get, I got it at Hobby Lobby. And, uh, yeah, that's what I use to varnish. I could probably varnish this one, but mm, I need to make sure it's 100% dry or we will get bubbles. Uh, there's already a couple of little places that I didn't quite get scraped down, like right here by our head. <laughs> so you really have to make sure that everything is well um, dry and uh, smashed down. I think I see a little mark right here that kind of looks like a little person. I'm thinking I might make that, but I don't know if I want him right there because that's like right under her chin. He needs to kind of be right over here, I think. A little person standing right over here. So let's get rid of that person or whatever that is, that little mark. Let's get rid of that. Get rid of this. And get rid of that one. 
And then we're going to put a little person over here. Just standing down here. Let me get a little bit of Posca, I think. Oops. It's too big. That Posca is too big. I just want to have like a little person standing down here. I got to get a. It can't. You can't. Like, if you're going to varnish it or anything that you put on it, you're going to have to make sure it's not water soluble. You could always spray it and fix it to it and all that, but you still have to be careful of anything that can move, even with that, um, before you varnish it. Because otherwise, like I tried to show y'all before, I signed it with a gel pen one time. I signed my. Uh, my uh, art with the or collage with the gel pen, and then when you put the varnish on, smeared it right off. So you have to be able to um, and I don't like my name to be this conspicuous. See, that's too bright. That's going to bug me. I'll have to do it in brown or something. Let's uh, I don't like it to be so obvious. I like it to be subtle. So let's go ahead and fix that. I'll sign it with something else. And again, this is uh, coated, so I can wipe that off. Oh, let's see. Thanks, Tina. Thanks, guys. Thanks, everybody that stuck it out to be here today. All right, let's dry again. Let's make sure everything's nice and dry. And I'll not fix my little person down there. So there are a couple wrinkles in here because I didn't take enough time to mash them all out real carefully. Like you should do. Do as I say, not as I do. All right, so now, but I do want this little. Just a little indication of a little person. Let, let's let that dry now. Get back in here with my Sharpie. Just looks like a little something standing there. Very subtle. Very subtle down there. Maybe a little... I don't have a Sienna Posca. I have a brown Posca, but I think this is going to be too maroony. Yeah, that's too maroon. Okay, so let's see what other color. Post-it notes. Let's see. You know, I'm looking through my Poscas for a right color. No, it's going to be too... I'll try, I'll try it. It's going to be too thick. Yeah, that's too big. Okay. I was going to try to sign it and, and varnish it for you right now, but I uh, don't know what I'm going to sign it with. Because the white's too white, the gel pen's too wet. Because I could just paint it in with a brush. Let's see. Oh, hang on, guys. Let me get a small brush here. <clears throat> okay. It's too dark. So I end up just a little. So I want to varnish it for you, but you have to sign it first. And that's too. Brush is not pointy enough. Hang on, guys. It's always something, isn't it? It's always something. Let's see if I can do it with this liner. <clears throat> All right, y'all got any questions or anything? Put it in caps. And we'll go ahead and varnish it so you can see. This color's not working for me either. 
All right. I'll just sign it on the back for Abigail. <laughs> it's just for Abigail. I'll just sign it on the back for her. All right. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on a piece of paper like I'm going to do the other one. So it's going to be something like this. Or do I want it on black? Let's see if it looks better on black. Let me get a piece of black. Let's see which I like best. Hi, Carla. Anybody else? Mm, I don't know. What do y'all think? It stands out more on the white, but it kind of looks cool on the black. What do y'all think? You like it on the black? Or you like it on the white? And I would trim it down better, but what do y'all think? I think I like it on the black. I think I like it on the black. Yeah. All right, we're going to go with that. So that'll go on there. I can sign it along the edge. Yeah. All right, so let's make sure it's nice and dry. Give me a minute to really get it nice and dry. Everybody's saying the black. And then when I do, I, I'll put it right there and just a little bit higher. And then I can sign it right under here. Because I can sign it with gel pen, a white gel pen here. But I can't varnish over gel pen. All right, so this is what I'm going to do. I'll show you how I'm going to varnish it. So what I do is I just, and I usually, if it's, if it's any bigger than this, I use a sponge brush. You know, the brushes that are foamy sponge brushes. But if it's something like this size or smaller... This is how I varnish. I put a nice little, uh, I think I clogged that up. Hang on, so I can get the get it to come out there. Uh, let's just open it up. Because <laughs> I didn't, uh, th there we go. That's probably about all I need. And then one squirt of water just to smooth it out. And then what I do is I just move it with my fingers, edge to edge, like this. Put a nice even coat and it looks a little milky while it's wet but once it dries once it dries it'll be flat now the reason i'm using my fingers or you want to use a foam brush is otherwise you'll get marks you'll get brush marks but if you use your fingers and just kind of smooth it out or if you use a foam brush okay so it's a little milky but it'll dry and you can see a couple places where there's wrinkles where I didn't let it, I didn't smash it down good enough. You really have to smash it down. Color pencil, I could do it with color pencil, Amy. Um, but again, you got to be kind of careful even with color pencil. You can't be moving it around too much. You can do it a little bit. Of course, I could always go down and fix it to it and all that, but I'm no, I just don't do it. I don't do all that. It's too much trouble. It is too much trouble. All right, so let me clean this off. But I have done it with color pencil. You can do um, you can do a, a bit of color pencil and then put this on, but you can't you can't move it. I mean, you can't mash it too much. You got to do a, a nice even coat and leave it alone. Otherwise, you'll be moving things around. Okay, so that one's for Abigail. So yeah, that one's for Abigail. Let me put her little paper under there. And then the other one we did was Devin Rex, which I could probably varnish hers too. I could varnish hers too if y'all want me to. So there's Devin Rex. And I see a couple wrinkles in it again because I didn't take. You got to take your time, guys. You really have to take your time with the mashing down. Otherwise, you'll have some wrinkles. But, you know. There we go. All right, let's see. Where might what do I do with my oh here? All right, so let's go ahead and put some varnish on it. Okay. Again, my little lid's clogged up, so let's just take it and pour it. 
Okay. About the size of a half dollar. And then one, one squirt of water just to help move it around. Okay. Let me do it on here because I can wipe this off. So just a nice, even... Like that. Okay. Then we'll set it as oh, what's that black thing right there? What did I get right there? Let's let's see if I can scrape that off. I don't know what I got right there. Okay, I got it. All right, so now I'm gonna set that aside, clean this up with some more baby wipes. Because this is a it's like a shiny coating on this uh, peel and stick wallpaper, so you can clean it up really nicely. Okay, so there we go. So you can see there's Devon's. We'll set this aside to dry, and I'll let them dry. I usually let them dry a couple days before I mail anything out. All right, so let's put that there. Let's put this one there. So when y'all get them, there are a couple wrinkles, but you know. Oh well. All right. All right. Let's see if I can get this cleaned up. Get a little space, and then I want to show y'all the next thing I really want to get back into is my collaging in my Trisha Trisha Green Nat Geo book that she sent. Wrinkle resemble that. <laughs> All right. Oh my gosh, I got so much all over my floor. Let me just pick up this one. All right. So I want to let me dry my let me dry my table here for the next few minutes. This is the next thing I want to work in. Let's back up. This is my Nat Geo book and I showed it last week before last I think some of the things that I already started adding in or you know playing with let's see, let's go this way. I'll prop it up because it's shiny <clears throat> too much prop <laughs> it's always the lighting people it's always the lighting Let's see, this should just be just enough. There we go, just to take a little bit of the glare off. All right, thanks, guys. You're welcome. So, again, this book has so many possibilities. Has so many possibilities. So, you can see where I took some of my um, Posca paint pens and started drawing out where I'm going to, like, paint this out. Maybe I'll do a little bit of play on this. I have that left over here so what i want to do well let me flip through the rest of it first because i want to kind of show you but i want to i started drawing out some of the areas oh this would be good for that penguin what i do with that look right the penguin king so I'll take my glue stick and just put a little, I'm not, I don't want to glue them down like permanently. I just want to have them there so that I can, uh, yeah. The Penguin King. <laughs> uh, so anyway, um, so I've drawn some other things in. I've drawn some other things in, but like, all right, let me give you an example here. Let me get this here. So I got this white paint here. So so we can just extend these, this water all the way over here.
And so these, these pages are going to be so fun to play with and alter. Let me get another baby wipe. Don't get a lot of baby wipes. <laughs> In collage and mixed media. All right, let's draw. I got to make sure it's dry before you close it because you'll stick your pages together. See, actually, I think what this needs, because we've got these blackbirds, so we need a bucket of stars. So I'm going to go ahead and put some paint in a little thing like this, a little bucket. Water it down, get a floppy brush, something that'll something that'll flick. So let's water it down. Tap it off really well. I'm over here tapping. Okay, I'm happy with that. Let's dry it. <laughs> yeah, I lost your mind, Rachel. And I gotta make sure these are really dry because it'll stick the pages together. Or I can put a little piece of wax paper in there if I'm not sure. Just one. That was too much. Get my shooting star the meteorite here. Baby wipes. Oh, there it is. Make it just a little smaller. Make that tail. So let's prop it back up. I got some of Arlene's pages in here that she sent me that I'm going to use in this book too. So, yeah. And then we played with this one last week. Added a little bit. See a silhouette there? The silhouette of the man there. And we put the space in there, the outer space, the nebula, a little bit of, uh, a little bit of pink. Can add a little bit more brightness to it. So I played with a couple pages. Hey, Zippy. I got a Start a GoFundMe to get Dee Dee a new hair dryer. No! Zippy, my heat tool is over 25 years old. This little Marvy Uchida has been <laughs> the best BFF I have in my studio. <laughs> so, anyway, there's going to be lots of things that we can check. Look, look how awesome this is. Can have all kinds of little things walking around in here and floating in here, walking up these little plants. This is one we did last week. We added all these dinosaurs, added this little uh, crevice here, or is that crevasse? 
<laughs> this ditch <laughs> where the dinosaur fell in. <laughs> so, yeah, we added that. So we played with that last week before last, I think. <laughs> I'm playing with this one. And you can see some of my stars got smeared because I didn't let them dry before I closed the book. So, you know, it's okay. We can fix those. So, and here's where I took my Posca because I'm going to paint these out. So all this will be blended in. So I'll just match, I'll match this and I'll blend it out. So this all, this will all be part of this. You know, we could probably do what here. Let me put a, let me put a post-it. We could maybe do this one. Just, just, we'll see. We got about, we got about 30 minutes. So. <laughs> Did I get it? Um, no, I. But I think what they what's happened, Zippy, is they don't make them like they used to. <laughs> they don't make them uh, to last like this. Uh, me, there's about five of us that I know have got this same exact one from 25 years ago, and we still have it. I think Julie Topaz is. She had hers for 25 years, and it just died like a few months ago. So I just don't think they make them as good as they used to. <laughs> yeah, there you go, Tina. So anyway, this is going to be a fun book. So again, here's where I've extended my lines, where I'll paint this out. And then add, add, make it into a world. Like here, here's one where I have this little uh, astronaut in the middle of, um, in the middle of a Venus flytrap. And he's got, he's having to blast his way out of there. Yeah, he's <laughs> and I made him out, and I extended all this and see I painted all this out. So he's having to blast his way out of that that situation right there. <laughs> Again, I drew this line just so you know. I just went through I went through the whole book with my poscas and just kind of indicated where I want to paint. We added this giraffe last week. That's all it needed was this giraffe. It didn't need anything else. It might need a little bit of shadow under his feet. <laughs> and this is a cool book. Started extending the lightning. Um, I think on this one, what will be really cool on her. Let's see if I can do this here. This Posca is not, I need my other Posca. What do y'all think? <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> the, most giraffes are Buddhist. <laughs> yeah, most giraffes are Buddhist. <laughs> So you can see the kind of things you can do, you know, and uh, you can just play with it. I mean, like right here, I want all these little birds, maybe put a little UFO right up here or something, flying with them. Just a small one, just a, just a little mini UFO. <laughs> I added, added that little star there. I extended these tree lines, added a little, saddle, a little Saturn type planet down here. Added some uh, rings, rings around it here. Just kind of extended out the. <clears throat> so anyway, there's lots of fun stuff you can do in this book, right? Added this giant. Something crashed in the in the fields of uh, Iowa. 
What is that in those fields of Iowa or wherever it is? So again, I'm going to extend this. Little baby's going to be right up here watching time. I, I didn't tack this down, but just put a tiny bit of glue stick, just enough to, just enough to hold it in place. All right, Terry, thanks for stopping in. So we'll have a lot of fun with this book. Again, this is where I'm going to extend out the horizon line. <clears throat> Did this one, this little, like, little portal here and the hand right here. It's not glued down. It's just tacked down until we decide for sure. Started painting in the background. It's just so this book has just got endless possibilities. Look, I'm gonna extend the trees. This looks like a giant sunflower to me. Let me see if I can kind of flip it a little because there's so many pages. I mean, I'm really, well, it doesn't really want to, because look how many I still have to go. Look at all this. There's just so much. I don't know if there's anything else that I've added something to, probably. Let's see if I can. Oh, I added this. So we did this little uh, wormhole here the plane and I added the other this is this is the part of the watch that came off of here I cut it off and so it's like coming through coming through there Isn't that cool looking so I've just got little things tacked down here and there that I haven't decided for sure let's see what else do we have what else have we added in this one I mean it's just so many cool things right this is going to be like, I'm going to do a lot of work in this book. But I wanted to do those collages for you guys today. So, plus we got a little sidetracked on the giveaway <laughs> this morning. It was a little hurting cats this morning. Uh, okay, we added this here to this jellyfish. Painted this in. I still got to do some more work on it, but I wanted this to be all in the mist. So I'm going to do that. I just, oh, added that eye up there. There's just so much, so many fun things you can do with collage. Oh. Uh, Did a little star, a little star sh portal there. The little cat and the lightning. <laughs> Turn him in. He's like a little Franken cat. See his little neck. See his neck. He's got the little bolts on his neck. Franken cat. <laughs> uh, yes, Dorothy. Janet streams at one. I put the I put the beluga whales in space. So it's just really cool. I added this little cat hanging on to the hanging on to the hen's foot. I might do some little like a little string, like he's kind of doing a you know hand to hand here. <laughs> He's going foot to foot. 
<laughs> uh, let's see what else do we have i'm gonna add her a big headdress on her uh, added this little pterodactyl carrying this guy he's, he's taking off with him <laughs> So he's not glued down yet. So I got to do a little more fussy cutting, but little pterodactyls taking off with that guy. <laughs> Thanks, Cindy. Oh, let's see what else. What else do we play with in here? Just so much, so much fun. We added makeup to this this girl here. We'll probably do that up there. So yeah. <laughs> Gave her blue eyeshadow and lipstick. Probably put some kind of a head piece on her like that. <laughs> oh, and these shirts that are on a clothesline, blowing in the wind. I'm going to put little astronauts in there, little astronaut heads in each one of those, like they're like little windows. Isn't it a beautiful, fun book, though, guys? We have so much play in this book. So much play with in this book. Oh, yeah, and this guy, we're going to do a little, little something, something here. They're not fussy cut out yet, but there's going to be a little something. I was going to have him holding on to that light post there. <laughs> okay, I think we've gone through all that. So let's go back over here. So this is like where I'd want to extend. So let me just get a piece of like wax paper here. We don't want to glue the pages together or something here. Some kind of paper. Oh, let's see. Do I have a piece of wax paper or something? There's some. There's something to prevent the pages from sticking together where I glue them. All right. Let's prop this up a little. Let's see what we can do right here, real quick, for the next, next 10 minutes. <laughs> Samantha. Okay, so we will just extend this paint out. Let me get another paint tray here. Move all these pins. All right, so let's see what we can do. Um, let's see what we can do. Let's get some blues and grays and uh, whoops. Let's get a baby wipe because I'm already making a mess. <laughs> already making a mess. All right, let's see. So I hope y'all got some inspiration. Again, don't forget to go back to the um, don't forget to go back to the beginning of the show to watch the Society of Idea Collectors um, episode. All right, that's probably enough. Plus some white, that'll probably be good enough. Let's see what we can do real quick. In the last ten minutes here. All right, let's blend. Let's blend this out, shall we? You found my Nat Geo book at the Dollar Ramos, four bucks. The same book, Sherry. Good for you. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. Let's see. Let's get a base done first. Might need a little black. Okay. So let's just get some base in here, and then we'll blend it in. Okay, so and of course my baby wipe just smear it in here.
Just get this based in. So once I got this in, I can move this paper from behind because otherwise I'm going to be smearing it on the back. So let's move that. Didn't make too big a mess. Whoops, didn't quite get it to the edge. Hang on. All right, so got it to the edge there. Okay, so there's a base. Now what I'll do, that's a start. So let me dry this, and then I'll put the second coat on, a second um, blend. Okay, so now I want to add another layer. So I had to dry that. So now I can come in here and blend it even, you know, put another layer on here. Okay, so I think I can get in here with my waves and clouds now. Oh, where's my baby wipe? Where'd it go? Oh, let's get another one. Oh, here it is. <clears throat> Bye, Jessica. Thanks for stopping in. Thanks, everybody that was here. Out throughout our convoluted giveaway this morning, <laughs> but I think it all worked out. A little more blue in there, I think. So I hope everybody had a good time today in the Society of Idea Collectors. Make sure you go to hashtag Society of Idea Collectors, all one word, on Instagram. To hashtag your projects or your homework. And I'll have more homework for you on um Wednesday. There we go. I think I need a clean baby wipe. And try to post something creative with your assignments. I'll have this running off the edge. All right, well, there's a start. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it at that. Thanks, Carla. You always have a great time. I'm going to leave it at that for now until we decide what else we want to put in here. We might end up having something like, hang on, um, stuff here. Where's my watch folder? Mm. 
something nice and big like maybe maybe not quite this big hang on but something fairly big would be good looking looking hang on oh i like the color of this one it's not quite big enough i'm looking through my collage fodder hang on guys maybe this one Oh, I like this. Okay, let's see. Let me cut this down. Maybe, maybe. In this all right let me cut two things out either this or oh, this will take a minute to fussy cut all right i'll just kind of sort of fussy cut it just so we can get an idea <laughs> of what it was going to be something like uh, this okay so it can either be something like this like that or it could be something massive could be something massive right on the horizon line. No, that's going to be too massive. Okay, I'm liking this better. Something like this. <laughs> and, of course, you know, you'd, uh, you could paint in the, a little bit of foamy about it. All right, let's go ahead and put a little glue. Something like that. <laughs> good one, Tina. That's good. Not only does time fly, it floats. Oh my gosh, that's good. But then we'd have to have. And I would get rid of the other watch hands, but something like that. What do y'all think? That's pretty cool. I like that. We could we could build on we could build on this. Time passing by. <laughs> All right, so let me hit this with the heat gun real quick. That's good, Tina. I'm gonna write that down. I I'll put it in the wing book the wing nut book later. But I want to put keep it with this. Um, where did it go? Time doesn't do, time on, doesn't only fly; it floats. Tina, I'll put this in the wing nut book later. But for now, I'm going to keep it on here. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I hope y'all had fun. I hope y'all had some fun, some inspiration, some ideas to play and whatnot. Don't forget, Janet comes on in about an hour. She's going to show her zine and whatever else. What up, Janet? You still here? What else she going to do? Yes, you made the wing nut book. <laughs> right now, you're in the big book. We'll put you in the wing nut book later. Oh, my goodness. So... Let's see here. Did I show everything that I needed to show? I'm looking around. See if I miss anything. Do I have any questions? Did I miss anything? I'm looking around. Got our giveaway. Got the collages. Magazine. Faithful Messes. Etsy shop. <laughs> I'm sure there's something else. So. Uh, well, yeah, well, what question? Zippy. Zippy asked me a question. Go ahead, Zippy. What's the question? 
Uh-huh. <sighs> What's the question, Zippy? You gonna ask me a question before I go? <laughs> Yeah. Thanks, Tina. Thanks. Thanks. Just kidding. Have a great day. All right, Zippy. Uh, now I'm going to ask you a question next time. I'm going to ask you a question next time. All right, guys, y'all have a great day and we will see you at other people's stream. <laughs> bye bye, guys.